All right. What is up, YouTube? How we doing tonight? How's it going? Hope you're enjoying yourselves on this wonderful, wonderful Tuesday afternoon, evening time for myself. Um, and we are going to get right back into our shiny grass starter shiny hunts. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to uh, start out on this one. Hi, Lord. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing tonight? How's it going? I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. I'm ready to uh, kick this shindig off, and I'm hoping that tonight we get similar shiny luck to what we had last stream on Sunday. The start of last stream was amazing. Like, just simply awesome. It, it, it couldn't have started out any better. But the end of stream was a little more on the frustrating side, if I'm going to admit it. But um, hopefully we're onwards and upwards from the drought that, that we had. And we can do some better things. But I think, uh, I think last time where I left off, actually I know last time where I left off was uh, shiny hunting for Snivy. And since I didn't get one of those little buggers, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna start right back in that same location um, and, and get going right from there. So we will get started. Hopefully uh, I don't get too many executor phases and we get our shiny Snivy quickly so we can move on. But, um, with that being said, I'll, I'll get uh, switched over to the gameplay scene here so we can we can see what's happening. And I'm going to have to add Snivy back into um, the scene here since since I cleaned things up from the last stream. So let me let me just bring our little buddy in here. Our little snake with feet. Get him lined up here and we will get underway hi lord i hope you had a great tuesday just gonna chill and chat that's not a problem you can be a lurker my friend it's not a big deal um what we will do okay so first and foremost let's uh you know i was i was re-watching the stream um yesterday Yesterday morning, I was rewatching some of my stream because I wanted to make sure to adjust some of my sounds um, because the mic was pretty echoey. I think my compressor was set to a setting that was um, forcing my mic and then possibly my noise gate was allowing too many sounds in. I'm not sure, but I did some adjustments. So hopefully it sounds a little bit better tonight. I did um, do a different EQ preset too. So my my voice would sound better. I did uh, record myself a little bit last night, listen to the playback. So um, from the recordings, it sounds like it's better. So hopefully on your end, you viewers, um, you can let me know if it sounds better to y'all um, if you were here in the last stream. But uh, last stream, as I was watching what I was getting to, that's a very long winded introduction to what I was getting to. But um, what I was going to say is the last stream, we had quite a few marked shinies and I never went back through to show what those marks were. And so I think, I think we put our little buddies in the boxes in here. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that this rallet was from Sunday. So we need to get in here and check and see what, I don't know if our Rowlet was marked or not. Oh, it is. Okay. The upbeat mark. So Rowlet the chipper, our Rowlet had an upbeat mark. Yeah, we'll put that on there. And then I believe, I believe one of the Turtwigs did. I know one of them was a larger Turtwig. This guy, oh, it did. This one had an uncommon mark. 
yeah we we were we were landing some marked shinies um i got a trico the other night i think this let me see here i believe i believe that those are okay so these are gift ones this is my original shiny box This is where I've been putting the shinies recently, but I'm not sure if all of those were from the other night. Where would they have gone though? Because they're not in my party. That is for sure. We know they're not in the party. What did I catch the other night? I caught two Turtwigs, one Rowlet, a Trico, and an Executor. So this was the executor. There's one Turtwig there. Did I put one in this box? Oh, there's two Turtwigs in that box. There's a Rowlet. There's two Rowlets in that box. This is the Rowlet I think that we caught the other night though. These two Rowlets, I believe, are from off stream. And I think that that Trico down there is from Sunday night. So I believe that this Trico is from Sunday night. Let's see if he was marked. He was not marked. This Turtwig, check summary. This was the big boy, I believe, and he's not marked. So I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go get him size checked and then level him up into a Torterra. Yeah, so there's, there's one Turtwig. There's two Turtwig. I think this Rowlet and this Trico were all from Sunday, as well as our Executor, which may have also been marked. Oh, it was. It had the Dawn mark. I think. I think. I think we knew that the Dawn mark was already on that one. I'm pretty sure I checked that one before, um, when we caught it. So, yeah, we're good little rundown of the of the haul from Sunday so we started out super hot on Sunday I mean four shinies and the first two sandwiches and things were kicking but we came to a screeching halt and I went like four sandwiches with one shiny I believe so I'm guessing that I probably missed a Trico along the way somewhere because they were popping up underneath the feet of the executor. So I'm thinking that maybe I, I missed one that way. But uh, Melissa, welcome. How you doing tonight? Hope things are going well for you on this wonderful Tuesday. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, so hot out the gates on Sunday four shinies and two sandwiches and not only that the the manner of which they they came into play they were amazing right like i it was it boggled my mind how quickly i was able to uh stack up some shinies i mean i i made my first sandwich and then the shiny rallet the first shiny rallet was within the first 2 minutes of the first sandwich then i packed up Flew to a whole other area, got sidetracked with the U.S. men's soccer match, and then, and then after uh, getting a little bit distracted, got to the area that the Turtwigs spawn in, and I literally checked the area once, set up a picnic, pulled the picnic down, and what do you know? Our little green turtle was sitting right there waiting for us, just looking at me like he wanted to be part of the family and so i had to make it i had to make his wishes come true i had to make his dreams come true right stuck him in a little safari or a nest ball because he was a big old boy and i have every intention of evolving that boy into a torterra but yeah that what a, what a good night of shiny hunting it was exciting we almost had the mix up with the trico where i saw him from distance stopped Got sidetracked with the men's soccer match again, and then almost lost our 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 shiny Trico. But it's okay. I saved. 
like every good shiny hunter should saved the game saved my booty too because that one was a close one but yeah um we're gonna we're gonna make this sandwich first and then i'm probably i think i need to stack up on some more lettuce because we're burning through this stuff on these grass encounter shiny sandwiches Melissa says, I'm finally free, been onboarding new doctor, so crazy, happy to be here. Well, glad to have you. Thanks for stopping in. All right, two salt and um, any two herba. Uh, we're going to go sour and bitter. That was our routine two nights ago, so we're going to stick to it. Um, and what the hey? I'm going to do a party. I'm going to do a party sparkler pick to start the night out because it is cool for one. It looks cool on the sandwich. And for two, we're going to get this party started right. We need to we need to get this stupid little shiny snivy. I need, I need to make sure I'm not, I'm not like uh, stacking these peppers to the side so that when I put the lettuce on, we don't lose a pepper underneath the lettuce. Because I think that's what happened a couple times and I did not save before going into this sandwich make. So, as long as the lettuce doesn't disappear, we are good. Oh, don't, 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 don't you dare. Stick that sparkler in there, we are good. Ralph, welcome, man. How are you doing? He's Ralph says, yo, Casey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you asked. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well on this wonderful Tuesday. Doing good. I'm hoping for some more wicked shiny luck tonight. I, I can't I can't be too um too greedy though, right? But I mean, a boy can hope. A boy can hope. <laughs> so first sandwich of the night right here. Let's see if we can get this Snivy, because he was very elusive last time. And I am hell-bent on making or trying to get this thing without an outbreak. All right, we got our sparkling power, our tidal power, and encounter power. Perfect. Even with that piece of lettuce hanging off on the right side there, we are still good. It's still on the sandwich. It still counts. It still counts. All right. Get this all set up. should actually Ralph I should be saying welcome back because you were here on Sunday as we as we went through the pain and suffering of uh of shiny hunting these snivy at the end with no luck after after starting out so hot we just came to a screeching halt and it was such a sad time but that is how it goes and and beggars can't be choosers right or you, you I can't be I can't be too greedy with it because realistically realistically we still got about one shiny per sandwich on Sunday so I can't be I can't be too greedy overall statistics we're still looking hot um with the phase it kind of helped out so hopefully we'll get that uh Bo yo welcome to the chat yo Welcome, welcome. How you doing tonight, little Bo? Bo Yo is my brother, if you didn't know it. So we've got an honorable guest in the chat tonight. Please, everyone, say hi. Throw the shinies out there. We need this shiny Snivy. We need this shiny Snivy. Am I going? Ralph says, are you going to get three sh shiny Snivy? I will eventually. I'm not, probably not going to sit here and get all three right now. I, I'm going to be happy with getting one and then moving on to the next hunt. So y'all don't have to sit and watch me circle around these same bushes all night long. I'm half hesitant. Like I, I'm, I'm thinking what I might actually do is uh, once I get this first one, I'm probably going to take your look at that little rallet just flying up against the wall over there. Um, what 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 is he actually doing, actually? Oh, wait, he's not flying up against it anymore. Will he do it again? What kind of window licking moves is this is this guy doing? But anyways, what I was saying is um, if I do 
get the shiny. Um, I'm pro I'm probably going to actually uh, take Ralph's suggestion and reset for uh, an outbreak because I don't really want to uh, keep doing this to myself. But I'm I'm kind of determined now since I didn't get it uh, on Sunday that I really want to get it this way. I'm like hell bent on it. I'm, I'm that competitive urges in me. Like, no, you're not failing this or, or determined urge. I should say is in me. That's, that's like, you're not going to fail this. You're going to get this snivy regular, no matter how many executor you phase on. If we phase on an executor, I'm determined. I'm hell bent. It's going to happen. Daniel, welcome to the stream. I missed your chat there before before Ralph's question about the Snivy. I hope you're doing fine and well today on this Tuesday. Hope you're enjoying your day and had a good time. If you guys are shiny hunting at home, what, what are your shiny hunts consisting of tonight? What games are you playing? What are you shiny hunting? I like to know. What methods are we using, y'all? What methods are we using? All right. Let's go, Snivy. Show me that shiny little dark teal looking snake with feet. I really got to be more mindful, I think, to check these. Look at, look at, here's another one again. I was talking about this the other night on Sunday. These Snivy keep spawning underneath the executor, and I need to be more diligent about searching underneath them because there's a good chance that we probably had a, a shiny snivy spawn underneath one of those suckers daniel says i still shiny i'm still shiny hunting zekrom and da's whoa dude daniel that you you were shiny hunting have you taken breaks and then gone to other or have you just been not having such hot luck with that zekrom raid I, I feel like you were shiny hunting that Zekrom a uh, couple weeks ago when you stopped by stream. If I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, no, I didn't mean to touch that little guy. Rouse is getting all three like this would be so brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to do that to myself. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can at least get one before tonight's over doing it this way and then i'm going to take your suggestion on the uh encounter sandwich for grass and just reset for a oops i need to make sure that this is on vibrate <clears throat> um and reset for an outbreak if uh if i get my boy tonight if i get the little the little grass snake the little leafy snake Crispy, yo, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday, my guy. Did you get your shiny Kiram yet? The frozen turkey. Did you get your frozen turkey? The black boy with purple wings. The black dragon with purple wings. F purple frozen wings, mind you. The more and more I watch your uh, DA hunt on those, on those Kiram, the more I have respect for that shiny. Daniel says that, yes, I did take a break, take a break and got a shiny Kiram in the process. Oh, it, were you, were you a uh, DA hunting with Crispy in his stream? Is that when you got your shiny Kiram? Cause I'm pretty sure I was in crispy stream. I don't remember if you had gotten it. I thought I had seen your name in crispy stream, jumping in uh, the DAs with him. And I thought that you had gotten shiny Kiram that way. Ralph says, I've seen a video with a guy having to KO an executor to get to the shiny Snivy. Ooh, okay. 
yeah, I need to be more diligent of the of the snivy spawning underneath these executor. I, I'm really feeling like um, I probably passed one up the other night because I, I did not check every executor for snivy. It was just like if I randomly noticed the tail hanging out, you know? So there's a good chance that I, I missed a shiny that way, unfortunately. But we can't hang our heads. We, we got to pretend that that didn't happen, block it out of our minds and move on and just cross our fingers and know that the shiny does exist somewhere. <laughs> this little, this little leaf snake his shiny form does exist. And I'm really hoping that he's going to grace his grace us with his presence this evening. Hopefully on this sandwich even. That's that's the kicker. That is the kicker we're looking for. And hey, if you see that shiny and I miss it, you let me know, chat. Let me know. Although the delay might keep you from not notifying me too soon or soon enough, but it's okay. I'll still be keeping an eye on you. Ralph says we didn't get Curum yet for Crispy Stream. Oh, man. How many DA resets is Crispy on now for that uh, that Kiram? Has he hit odds? I feel like I feel like Crispy was doing so well with those legendary hunts and getting so many of them under odds. Is, did he finally hit hit meet his match and and uh, and break odds with a DA with a legendary hunt? Daniel says yes and no. Yes to the fact that you were uh, DAing with Crispy, but no to the fact that that's not where you got the Kiram shiny, probably. That's how I'm taking that sentence. Yes, I did join him, but did not. I got it myself. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. Well, congrats on the shiny Kiram. That's, that's a win. You take a break from one and you get another? That's a W. Come on now, little one. I'm changing up the music selection a little bit tonight, y'all. Changing it up a little bit. I'm going with, with some stream beats lo-fi instead of the normal Glitch City Pokemon lo-fi. I've been I've been uh I've been wanting to change it up a little bit, and I really like Harris Heller's uh lo-fi playlist. So Thought I would just throw it on for an evening. Give us a break from all the Pokemon music. And then maybe, maybe that will set the tone for some better shiny luck. Ralph says, I think he's at 79 now and I'm at 114 encounters. Ralph, are you, are you on the same hunt? Are you doing the... The Kiram hunt as well. The frozen dragon. I really like uh, the 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 shiny Kiram um, purple wings look, or or like his his highlights. I guess I don't know what you would call them, but it, it, they're they're like a lavender color. It's super pretty actually. It makes him it makes him feel more majestic. Like when he's in his normal form, he's almost just like um sort of intimidating, I guess, as a Pokemon, you know? The 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 style of which he's he's designed. But when he's got that shiny with that that it's almost like a charcoal color. It's not that deep, deep black. It's not like a jet black. It's like that charcoal color with the purple or lavender highlights on the wings. Ooh, that's it. That's a pretty classy look.
Not there, not there. Daniel says, Dining you. Not sure what that is. I got a, I got six shiny in DA in three days. Yo, that's pretty good. Six shinies in three days of DA hunting? That's not a bad run. I really need to get my uh I need to get my shiny charm in shield and then start running some DAs with viewers. I think that would be fun to do. I always love watching crispy streams and seeing the viewers getting involved and excited and running DAs and earning their own shinies. That little guy's not shiny. Daniel says, if I get shiny Zekrom, I'm going to yell, yes. Let the world know. Or at least your house. Let your house know. You've been you've been hunting that one for a little while now. These guys are not shiny. What what are we at time wise? Ooh, Th this sandwich has been screaming by. Ralph says I'm doing shiny curum or I'm doing curum with crispy. Started before, which is why numbers different. Um, already got Ente, Cresselia, and Ho Oh all in the same week, and my shiny Verizion too. Yo. That's a good run. You've, you've, you've basically been doing the same hits as Crispy, um, and then you've been keeping in tail with them. So that's that's kind of good. You're able to run them together. The way friends should. Is there one underneath this guy? There is, but he's not shiny. There is, but he's not shiny, unfortunately. Super unfortunate. Crispy says, later crew, good to see familiar faces. Trying to finish up work. Yo, you drive safe. Get those packages to the people safely. And we'll see you later. I hope you have a good rest of your work day, Crispy. That little buddy on top of the rock is not shiny. Does this guy have one underneath him? Nope, he does not. I don't I don't know of any other if I've seen any other Pokemon that spawn in this this way where they take up the same spawn zone. Like that's what's wild to me. I know that they have certain areas where kind of where like your spawning will glitch out if you stand in a specific space like the um the uh gosh dang it what's the the larvitar um spawn there's like there's a cave in paldea where you can uh set up a dragon encounter sandwich and larvitar will just pop out of the wall i think bag on too for that matter because the spawn the spawn is like fixed where when you stand in one area, they can only spawn in one spot and they just keep popping in, popping in, popping in. It's kind of like the, uh, the Torchic hunt. If you go into the cave in the ice biome and you're hunting Torchic, same thing happens. They just start spawning out the opposite side of the cave. If you stand in a specific spot, then you can send your let's go Pokemon into battle and just knock them out. And they just keep spawning in, spawning in, spawning in. And then boom, you get your little yellow chicken. Not there, not there. Ralph says, yeah, I was going to do Sableye in that cave, but found three while trying to get my Umbreon. Yo, Umbreon shiny is so good. So good. Probably my favorite shiny. I know we were talking about this on Sunday. I, I, I'm 
I think Umbreon is my favorite shiny. I really do. You know what? Uh, one I forgot about on Sunday that uh, that came to mind actually yesterday is Satoddle and Satitan's shiny. I really like that one too. That's a good shiny. That's a fun one. They get the they get that black hue to them. They look truly like uh, a killer whale. 12 minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock. All right, chat. What do you think? Are we going to get this Snivy in this sandwich? Am I going to get it? Or am I just... Are these things forever going to tease me? I'm probably going to phase with an executor right before the end of the sandwich. Like less than two minutes left. I'm saying one minute and 32 seconds on the clock and a shiny executor is going to pop up again. Not there, not there. You're not shiny. You're not shiny. Neither are you guys. Are you my shiny? Ralph says, Satitan is amazing. And I like Satoddle's design, even not shiny. Yeah, the, no, really, the, the design of that Pokemon is super cool. One of my favorites of the Gen 9, like the new Gen 9s. I really like it. I, I'm just sad that, like, the typing, you know, the ice type just doesn't doesn't ever do well and even having um having a dragon uh elite four member it doesn't like it doesn't justify putting an ice type on your team you know i don't know oh stop 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 lagging there he goes there it goes. Ralph says executor in the last 32 seconds of the sandwich. Y'all, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's probably going to happen. I'm thinking one minute and 32 seconds left on the sandwich. And we're going to phase. This, this executor, one of these executors is going to be humbly fall colors. With some purplish leaves and a yellow trunk. And they're just gonna continue to laugh in my face. Suckers keep doing it. That's not a shiny. That's your berry. You're not shiny or you. Neither are you. Neither are these guys. telling you i'm not i'm not feeling confident going into the evening after the end to sunday stream i don't know if it's just this area that just makes it a little tougher maybe and then like these guys keep following me all right you guys got to go away we got to get new spawns in here I wonder if it's almost better to just like picnic reset in this field, maybe. Or in an open area. I'm thinking I'm thinking a picnic reset might be the way to go here. If I go back to this bigger open space where they keep spawning in and I just picnic reset maybe I'll have a easier time or a better time I should say not easier I just don't know if this uh, we could they're spawning up on the hillside too though they're there 
I mean, it's looking like it could be a good way to go about it. I'm just worried that, like, are things going to spawn in behind that tree? Obviously behind that tree. I probably got to go to the, a more open space over here, not next to the trees. Oh, there's a plane going by overhead. Ralph says, not sure if it's true or not, but a picnic reset usually fixes my luck. I'll do a lap then picnic reset too. <laughs> yeah, no, the, it, the, those little superstitions, you know, those little superstitions, they, they do, they do help. I believe in them. I believe in them or just like the, the new sandwich, you know, sometimes that new sandwich will, will turn things around for you. Like I'm thinking right here could probably be a good spot. Even though we'd have to completely turn. Like, but the, uh, is this guy, does he have one underneath him or is this just, that's just the grass. That was just the grass. Okay. I think I'm going to try it right here. Let's, let's do it. Ralph says, crazy you had the same thought while I was typing the last message. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Great minds think alike. Yes, sir. Daniel says, 10 more Zekrom. Ones. 10 more. To wait, 10 more Zekrom ones. Then, then try a break, maybe? Is that, I think you were trying to say that. 10 more Zekrom, then try a break. Yo. Sometimes you just got to, like, shake things up, you know? You got to, you got to change things up and give yourself give yourself that boost of 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 a change of scenery uh is that that's not shiny right he's just in the shade yeah he's not shiny he was tricking me being in the shade Hi, Bean. Aww. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I just need to take the replay of the U.S. men's game and put it on behind me. I feel like that brought in some luck. There's a little crocodile action over there or crocorock action. We don't want to go too far. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's shiny right there. That's shiny. That's shiny. That's shiny. We go. Yo, the picnic. The picnic changed our luck. We got him. Uh, no, I got to have, I got to have Duckingham up front. Yo, he's shiny, right? Look at him. Yes, he is. He's shiny. Get back here. Yo, look at him. He looks so good. That shaded one totally threw me off, but th th that is for sure shiny. And you, that is a good difference. Like you can see the one in the distance underneath that executor even. Yo, we got him. We got him. We got him. I almost want to just like stand next to him and then. Where is the, the, the star? <laughs> oh, we got him. All right. I need to stop messing around. I, I already saved it. We're going to save it again. Just, just in case, just in case. Oh man. So good. Yes. That one is super satisfying. I'm telling you what y'all, that is one of the most satisfying shinies. I think yet. All right, turn this little boy into a water type. And then we change our Pokemon and bring out Fun Girl. 
and let her go to work. Put him to sleep. I kind of want to catch all my snivies and, and net balls. Daniel says, nice hype. Pie Lord, nice. Yes, thank you guys so much. Ralph laughing. Hey, we're good. Ralph says, if you can get the outbreak in this spot, it will be so easy. Yo, for real, like this would be a great spot for the outbreak. Oh, yo, I didn't, I didn't check the time on the sandwich. I was, I was at like four minutes and, and some change. And then I ran into the desert area or the more desolate space. So it was probably like just under or just around four minutes left on that sandwich. Oh, of course he wakes up after the false swipe. Spore this little boy. Put him back to sleep. And where's my netball? Right there. Right there. Get in there. Little dude. Crit cap. We golden. All right. First shiny of the night. Coming in as a, a little bit of a buzzer beater. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and run out this the last of this sandwich. We still got we still got some time. Let's see if let's see if we can't get another to end the sandwich. No, we can't be too greedy. If we don't get another, it's okay. But that would be sweet. That's a normal. Watch we get an executor phase. That'd have been that'd have been nutty. Executor phase right at the end of the sandwich. Just the way we called it. Stop lagging on me. Stop lagging. Ralph says still predicting a sandwich or a executor before the sandwich ends. Yo, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What is? Oh, nope, 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 nope. We hit our sandwich limit. Pyroars are, are coming in. We're good. We hit our mark. All right. Deb Striker, what a what a majestic creature. Look at him. What a majestic creature. All right. Yo, first shiny of the night. We got our Snivy. Let's let's post up. Okay. Daniel adding more shiny luck with the sparkle. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Throw the sparkles in the chat, y'all. We got him. We got him. That was a satisfying hunt. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need to head back to Paldea and get some more sandwich ingredients because i'm getting low on the the lettuce and um we can we can do that yeah 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 we can do that mass figure welcome how you doing tonight how's it going ralph says chicory spawns with execute so you'll probably complete the line over there yeah but the problem is i think i think um the oddish line spawns over there and so does uh so does Whimsicott. 
and I'm pretty sure Comface spawns over there in that same spot that Chikorita spawns. So we we would be we would be playing with major fire over there, because we would have we would have Comfe, which is uh, Fairy Grass, right? And then the Whimsicott line, Fairy Grass, and then you got the Oddish line, Grass Poison. And I think all of the Oddish line spawns over there, like Oddish, Gloom, Bioplume, and Blossom all spawn in that same spot. And then I'm I'm pretty sure you're right with the uh, the call out on Execute. And I think Executor might spawn close by there because the beach by where Chikorita spawns is where the Alolan Executor spawn. So we'd be playing with major fire. But you know what? I'm down to try it. <laughs> I'll throw Chikorita up right now and we will do a, a non-outbreak Chikorita hunt and just play with some fire and probably phase on like a number of different shinies that are not Chikorita. We already did the Snivy that way. No, not this one. Is it in this shop? Hi, Lord. Thanks for the, the sparkle luck there. Thanks for the sparkles. This is not what I meant to walk into. This isn't where I parked my car. Mass figure says, good. I'm glad you're doing well this evening. That's what we're looking for. Lettuce. Okay. W w with, um, I know the grass encounter sandwich for shinies, but let me look up the shiny sandwich calculator. Okay, if we just wanted a encounter power for grass level two, um, we don't want restaurants. We just want sandwich recipes and creative mode sandwiches. And we need to calculate. We could do the great cloth sandwich, which is quite a bit of stuff. A creative mode sandwich. Oh, that that's super complicated. This creative mode sandwich uses Herba Mystica. We don't want to wait, 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 that one. This creative mode sandwich has a ton of rice on it. Eesh. That doesn't sound like a good plan. Rice is not fun to stack. I'm thinking the cloth stick sandwich might be the way to go. Cause there's three condiments. You got tomatoes, lettuce, and cloth sticks. So we could probably, you got one order of lettuce, which is three pieces. So you could stack the lettuce on the bottom, stack the tomatoes on top of it, and then place the cloth sticks. I think the cloth sticks have a flat side to them. So they don't just keep rolling, rolling. We can maybe stack them on top of the tomatoes and get our encounter power level two to reset for a, an outbreak. What am I doing? I'm just turning that down. Um, sure, we'll get 10 more salt while we're here. Olive oil, get 10 more of it. Um, We're all good on picks, so that's not necessary. Uh, 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 uh. Mass figure says just came by to say hi. I have other things to do. Yo, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for saying hello. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Take care of your things. Um, we're good here. Ralph says BRB going to eat. Yo, enjoy your meal. What do we need for this one? We need tomato cloth sticks. Are cloth sticks in here? Vinegar, chili sauce we're good on. Red and green bell peppers. There's no cloth sticks here. 
potato salad. We're probably good. Let's try let's try this last. Sure cans. This has got to be the way to go. Um tomatoes, we'll just grab Oh, no 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 no. <laughs> that was That was almost a mess up. Uh, uh um rice we're good on. Yo, are cloth sticks like only in a specific area? I probably got to go to uh Let's make the purchase. I probably have to go to what's it called? The place where you fight the water gym, the water gym leader, I bet. Um, let's let's head that way cuz I think there's food places there. Cascarapa, that's what we're looking for. Um, where do we need to go though? Picnic knacks. Let's go here first. Cause it's right inside the entrance. We'll go there first. We'll look for some cloth sticks in case we need to trigger an outbreak. What do you guys, what do you guys think chat? Do you, do you want to see me suffer and phase on some more Pokemon and just go at this Chikorita? I'm, I'm determined to, to go for Chikorita right now. So we're going to shiny. Let's go here. Um, do you want to see me struggle? Or should we... Or should we try to trigger an outbreak? What? Where is the store that I was looking for? This one right here. This should be it. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. This is go for broke grill. We're looking for... Picnic knickknacks. Picnic knicks. Picnic knacks. This is not where we meant. This is not where we meant to go. Is it this one? They've got like cups and things. Oh yeah, this is what we're looking for. Picnic knacks. The one-stop shop for all your picnic needs. Um. Okay. Well, we've got some tablecloths here. Let's just grab one of each of these because those are fun to have. Uh, and some cool cups. And that's... They don't even have... Okay. Nope, we're good. We're not going after anything else. Thank you. Let's figure out where else on the map we need to go. Um, okay, so those are clothing stores. Deli Costco, Shurikans is there. What is this one? Artisan Bakery. We need to go there. It's on the other side. Oh, it's actually up the wall. Okay, we're we're doing this the we're doing this the crazy way. We're spider manning up this thing. Um, and getting stuck behind lights. There we go. That's what we needed. Daniel says go for the outbreak. Okay, I, I like I like your suggestion, Daniel. I like that. Don't put me through that pain. Um, silver pick, red Pika, blue Pokeball pick. Yeah, those are all the same. Blue flag pick, magical star, magical heart, parasol pick, winking, smiling, party sparkler. Yeah, these are all the same. Nothing there. Where do we, where, where the darn it do we get this wasabi? What's this one? Deli bird presents, Chansey supply, Deli bird presents. Deli Costco and Shurikans is down at the bottom. We'll just float our little booties down here. And drop. Okay, this is one that will have some sandwich toppings. 
All right, chat, get, get your votes in the chat. Let me know. Do you guys want to see me suffer and just grass, grass sandwich hunt this Chikorita, or should I reset for an outbreak? Should I go the outbreak method? Let me know. Right now, Daniel's the only one that put in a suggest or a, a preference. I like where his head's at. I want to go with that route, to be honest. But I'm not opposed to just going in for the kill and chancing my luck. I'm probably going to phase on like a bunch of other things. Egg, potato, salad, chorizo, bacon, potato, tortilla, prosciutto, cucumber, avocado, red onion, hamburgers. Dude, am, am I just crazy or like does... Can you not buy wasabi from the stores? I need wasabi and and cloth sticks. Another vote for outbreaks. I'm liking where you're going with this chat. Keep it coming. Where the heck do I find cloth sticks? Like there's only 3 cities that have that have the restaurants that sell ingredients, right? Oh wait, no, look, this guy does too. All right, let's go here. Maybe Mandali will find it. After 10, more will join you to do the same hunt. After 10 more, I will join you to do the same hunt. After 10 more, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh-uh-uh. Where is... Where is, where is, where is? Why? They all have the same stuff. Where the heck do I get? Am I going to the wrong store then? What other store could I go to that has sandwich supplies? Is it like Chansey Supply or Deli Bird Presents maybe? I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try this one because I need to get cloth sticks and wasabi. I don't think I have any of those. And those are needed ingredients for the great cloth claw sandwich. Am I losing my noodle here? Plastics is in the grocery in Lavincia. Oh, okay. General goods, maybe? No, that's it's all evolution items and whatnot. Okay. So we just gotta go to Lavincia. Let's go to Lavincia. All right, what is, what is this one? Artisan Bakery, Deli Costco. That's where we want to go, the supermarket. The supermarket. AJ Gamer, yo, welcome to the chat. I didn't realize there was a, a different chatter there that, that told us where to go. AJ Gamer, how you doing tonight? I, before you got in here, I'm not sure if you heard, but I was asking chat what their preference is. Do you want to see me grass sandwich hunt for Chikorita? Or should I reset for an outbreak? Yeah, I don't have Chikorita saved in here. I was throwing it to chat. To see what you guys would prefer. Because you know sometimes. You might like to see. Some suffrage. Like we went through with the Snivy hunt. Daniel says the school. That's for the supermarket probably. There's, there's probably one there too. That I've never really noticed is there. 
Cream cheese, jam, olive oil, yogurt, whipped cream, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, red onion, vinegar, watercress, chili sauce, basil, green, yellow, red, bell peppers, marmalade, peanut butter, wasabi. That's what we need. Oh, there's, I've already got five. Well, guess what? We're going to add 10 more to the mix and some tofu and some horseradish because we don't have any of that. And why not some curry powder and some cloth sticks? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any of these five items in any of the normal places that I usually get stuff at. AJ Gamer says Outbreak. Pylord says Outbreak as well. Yo, chat, I love you guys. Can I just tell you how much I love you guys? <laughs> the Outbreaks overwhelm. Good thing we're making the purchases here because we are going to need these ingredients. Time to go make some cloth stick sandwiches. All right, let's go back to the Blueberry Academy and Chikorita spawns up over here. So we're gonna go to the coastal rest area. I'm gonna make a encount grass encounter level two sandwich from the sandwiches available in our recipe book. In our recipe book. Yo, that one would be so easy, but I just don't want to give up salty herba. There's one that just has one order of jalapeno and then a bunch of olive oil and salty herba mystica. You know what? There's, isn't there... Counter power grass level two, that, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all we got. That's all we got. That's all she wrote. All right, well, anyways, let's, let's set up our picnic in somewhere that's more flat so that it doesn't tell us that we can't do that. Oh yeah, look, look at this y'all. We, we would be, we would, we'd be phasing with either Comfey, which by the way, this shiny is so subtle because the only difference is the face right there that is normally orange turns blue. Tell me that's not a horrible shiny. Not only is that thing a horrible Pokemon, sorry if Comfey is your favorite, but I think that that is a dumb Pokemon. I don't hate any Pokemon, but this thing, come on. Like, I've never, ever, ever, not ever wanted to use this thing in any playthrough whatsoever. <laughs> but then we got Blossom, which means Vile Plume's over here too. So is Gloom. Let's just do a little recon here. Let me let me show you. Let me show you what we'd be dealing with. Well, we're probably just gonna get all these spawns. Actually, once I make this grass encounter sandwich, you'll see what we'd be dealing with. Let's set it up. AJ Gamer says Comfey is my sister's second favorite Pokemon. We'll put ear mouse on her when I'm talking about Comfey. <laughs> Uh, all right. Also, I need to, I haven't added uh Chikorita to the mix. So let's throw, let's throw our little shiny Mon up here so we can see what we're looking for. Another one of these nice little subtle fall hue changes to a grass type Pokemon. I'm a fan of that change myself. I like it. I think it's cool. Just like the executor uh, changes, you know, big executor and regular executor. I love it. Okay, let's make this sandwich. We're going to reset. Look for these Chikorita outbreaks. When we see one, we are going to knock them out and get our shiny. <laughs> All right, make a sandwich. We need the great cloth claw sandwich number 105 let's get down here 105 right there that's our that's our sandwich let's do it and i'm gonna do a little winking pika face for this sandwich oh shoot i i didn't save Eesh. this could this could go 
this could go a few different ways, y'all. <laughs> this could go really, really well, or it could go really, really bad. Let's, uh, how am I going to do this? I've already grabbed a piece of lettuce to start out. So let's throw this here. Let's put a tomato on top of it like this. And then I'm going to put a cloth stick on top of that tomato. Stay. Oh, yo, yo, we're, we are cooking. We're cooking. All right. Stack the lettuce on top of the cloth stick. Don't knock off the sandwich. This tomato on top of the lettuce. Cloth stick number two on top of the tomato. Hey, we're cooking with bacon grease right now. Oh gosh. No one call Subway. Don't tell them what's going on here. Oh, we're done. Okay, we're good. Could have been super bad in a few different ways, but we made it through. We're okay. We're all right. Let's see here. Let my little, there we go. I was cleaning my desk the other day. I didn't realize I, I knocked my camera off cue. Couldn't even, you couldn't even see my full set of, of Canto starters minus Eevee. All right. Now we're, we're just worried about the grass encounter too. That's all we want here. Once we got it confirmed. Yo. Lambo, it's okay, buddy. Okay. Encounter power grass level two. That's what we're looking for. Bam. Finish the picnic, pull up our map. Actually, look, check this out. We, we can test, we can see what we'd be running into. So we've got Grookey spawning up here. This, 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 actually, you know what? I think Chikorita spawns more in this area here, I believe. Let me just double check and make sure I know what I'm talking about. Serebi, show me where Chikorita spawns. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Okay, so, yes, she spawns right in this, in this area, this top area. So watch, let's, let's go over here and just check out the grass Pokemon that spawn over here. Cause I'm pretty sure it's a hefty amount. And so I'm super glad you guys wanted the outbreak method. Cause look, there's Sazbuck, there's. A Lolan Executor. What else do we got? We got Deerling spawning down there. There's regular Executor spawning. There's another Deerling. There's a... Oh, I mean, the, the Execute, not regular Executor. That's a Lolan Executor. There's an Execute. I haven't even seen a Chikorita yet. Are we sure it even spawns over here? That is a deerling. Does she spawn in the cavern? Oh, there's some alone and diglet in here for no reason. More Execute, Alolan Executor. Dude, I haven't even seen a Chikorita spawn over here. Is Serebi drunk? Oh, there's one. Look, there. 
<laughs> there's one. Okay. We got Execute, Chikorita, Alolan Executor, Sawsbuck, and Deerling that spawn over here. We could, we could go see. Let's see here. Let's, let's just, let's just confirm that there's not a chance. Cause like a Chikorita spawns all over here with a bunch of Sawsbuck, Deerling, Chikorita's there. Yo, stop lagging on me. Melissa says, computer has to do some updates. Catch you later. Yo, thanks for stopping by. Drop back in after your updates if you can or want to. Um. Yeah, so we were getting execute and executor back there. There's another execute. Yo, there's some more Chikorita spawns. I think a lowland executor. We're probably going to start getting Bulbasaur spawns over this way too. Because I think he spawns up there. I think this might be a better space though. This, this might be the space. Okay. We're going to try it. We're going to start resetting here and hope to push a outbreak. All right. Got the map up now. Reset method. Here we go. Back to the home screen. We've got our encounter sandwich active going down to the settings down to system, date and time. Tyler says, I'm watching the stream while doing Kiram DAs and making pancakes. Yo, I made some banana pancakes for breakfast on Sunday and they did not disappoint. It, it was definitely a good choice. All right, go to date and time. We wanna make sure that synchronized clock via the internet is off. Over to our date and time selection. And I am just going to toggle through this with A and then back to the home screen so we can jump back into the game. Uh-oh. We're not updating right now. We will update later. Okay, did... I didn't see if the... If the, <laughs> the dens are out... Yo! We got a Plusle and Minum outbreak right now. That's rare. Okay. Don't think it happened. So back to settings, system, date and time, down, toggle through, back out, into the game, and they reset. And we don't have, we don't have the outbreak. Back in. All right, here we go. The never ending reset. Oh no. Come on, Chikorita. Start software. Chikorita outbreak. Still not there. I guess while I'm doing this, it might be a good time to start checking for. Yo, you know what? I probably should have tried for grass encounter level three. I think that they're all going to require Herba Mystica, though. Herba, 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 Herba. Dump, 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 Herba, Herba, Herba. Dilili, di, 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 di. Yeah, they all, the level threes all require Herba Mystica, so. 
All right. Tough luck. There's no grass starters in the polar biome. So back to our date reset. Come on, Chikorita outbreak. Show me what you got. Start the software. Oh, we got an executor outbreak. The grass encounter is working. Back out, let's drop it like it's hot on this date and time. Spam through, back out into the game, start software. An Alolan executor outbreak, a deerling outbreak, but still no Chikorita. If I get another starter, I'll probably go do that outbreak. Not, not, not. All right, back to the reset, back to the drawing board. Down to system, date and time, toggle through. Start software. Do cannon outbreak. Execute outbreak. Still not what we're looking for. System, date and time. Toggle through. Start software. What do we got? What do we got? An Oshawott outbreak? Yo, I got a Turtwig outbreak. I only need one more of those little buggers. But we can isolate him. That's not a big deal. Another Executor outbreak. Let's scroll down. I might need to move location and see. See if that helps any. Start our software, another execute outbreak, a Rowlet outbreak. We've already got all three. Date and time, toggle through. <clears throat> On these outbreak ones, I think what I'm going to do, though, is once I get the... Oh, slack off. Slackoth is such a good shiny. Anyways, what I was going to say is once once I get the outbreak for these uh, mons, um, prob like for Chikorita especially, I'm going to... I'm going to get all three. So once it gets in here, we're going to go for all three. Ralph says, I'm back. You're resetting for which outbreak? Looking for a Chikorita outbreak. Another Turtwig outbreak? We can isolate hunt him. So I'm not too worried about that one. System. But if we get a if we get a Snivy outbreak, I'll go do that one. Or if we get a Chikorita outbreak here. Cottony. I think Cotton only, only spawns during the daytime. And I'm pretty sure it's night right now. Oh, a Chespin outbreak. We can isolate him too, though. <clears throat> the sandwich is working, though. We just, we just got to get the right Pokemon to show up with outbreaks for us. Uh, Rallet. Scyther. Ralph, I'm so mad that Slackoth is so common in the terrarium. I spent so much time getting that full line just for them to make it a common outbreak now. For real. Anyone that shiny hunted him in Paldea, Godspeed. Because that would have been a nightmare. I When I played through the game, I, 
I couldn't even figure out how to get him to just regularly spawn, let alone get an outbreak to come out. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, you can find him in trees. I must have been headbutting so many trees. I like to complete my Pokedex. I finally was like, screw this. I'm going to take a Vigoroth, put him in a picnic with a an Eevee and call it good. Get my little egg. Hatch that baby. And complete my Pokedex that way. I was over it. Yeah, I don't need anything in that biome. So I just need to check this area because this is where Snivy spawns up here. And then the coastal biome. So maybe I should like change locations or something. Change change something up here like I did before with the, the picnic to change some tempo. Ralph says, right though, I named my regular slack off little MF because it was such a pain to complete my Pokedex. For real. That sucker. I, I thought it didn't exist. Like, I thought Cerebi was just kidding with me. I was playing through. When I first played through, I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna use the internet as little as possible and just play through the game. And so I did. And then I was like, completing my pokedex and you know like when when you start getting pokedex entries or if you've seen something you can pull up the habitat so i would just do that you know to go find them and then most pokemon like if they only spawn at night or day it kind of makes sense when you get to the areas that they're normally supposed to spawn in you don't see them you're like them puppies is thinking there's something outside um but when you get to those areas where you don't see them like uh What's a good example of like a, like a Murkrow? Those only spawn at night. So when you go to those areas, you're like, oh, these, these guys only spawn at night. Oh, it didn't reset. Try again. Yeah, I hopped on Cerebi so fast. I was like, dude, where do these things spawn? And then and then I realized they're like, oh, they spawn in trees. I was like, oh, okay. So I'll just headbutt a bunch of trees and then one's going to show up for me. You know? Wrong. <laughs> they don't exist in Paldea unless you have an outbreak. I'm telling you. I think Slackoth might be more rare than Mew. At least in Paldea. is not what we're looking for come on chikorita i know you want i know you want to join the fam you want to join the fam no but this dragon raid does come on try again system dating time toggle through back out into the game start software reset we got a poplio outbreak and a tepig outbreak and a chespin outbreak yo we got three starter outbreaks out of like how many do you get in in a in the blueberry academy you probably get like what five or six outbreaks each time you reset it half of them are starters come on don't do this to me game don't do this to me. These grass starters are really wanting to challenge it. They're really wanting to make it challenging. An execute, a turtwig, and a chest bin. Not what we're looking for. System, date and time, down, toggle through, back out. Oddish, not the Pokemon we're looking for. All right, try again. Try it again. System, date and time, toggle through, back out, in. Deerling, oh, yo, okay. We're, we're doing this one. Let's just, let's just hide our girl for right now. And then we'll take him and oops, 
We're going to take this guy and that and that and grab him and put him right here. Okay. All right. We, we take these, fam. We take it. We're going to head over to this outbreak. We're going to get our other two Snivies tonight. Ralph says, I can't wait for the baby outbreak event this weekend. I only need Pichu and Riolu, and I will have all the babies. Yo, that's cool. Dude, dude the, uh, the baby outbreak is super cool. I really want... Uh, goodness gracious, y'all. The pups are just freaking out. Um, I really want to get Magby shiny. Oh my God. Stop it. Is this a dud of an outbreak? This is just a dud outbreak. We got one Snivy over here for the outbreak. Two. Two Snivy for the outbreak. <laughs> this ain't happening. This ain't happening. Ralph just got shiny Tapu Lele from Remote Raid in Go. I've been trying forever. Yo, congrats, dude. Congrats on the Tapu Lele. Ralph, what's your favorite Tapu? Shiny. Oh, uh, there's... Well, I guess there's a few of them here. But... It, my game's still cycling through all of the resets I did. <laughs> Look at it. It's just freaking out. Um... Let's see if I if I set up a picnic here and then reset. Let's see how many how many actually spawn when I do this. Because now I'm not coming from the coastal biome or flying. I'm actually in the space where these are supposed to spawn in. And dude, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, there's four. Five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Do those even count as part of the outbreak being that far down there? Or is that just probably a pack spawn? You know? I don't think this is going to be a good outbreak here. Negative Ghost Rider. Ralph says Tapu Bulu, probably everyone's least favorite, but it makes me like it more. <laughs> you got to love what you got to love. Okay, I'm going to go for, oh, I need to pull up the map. Uh, go back into the game. Pull up the map. I got excited, but the excitement was not good that was not that's not a good outbreak i'm not even gonna waste my time on it i'm just gonna reset because i'll probably have better chances elsewhere blossom outbreak didn't get our targets toggle through back in Bulbasaur outbreak. Yo, we're getting closer. We got Gen 1 instead of Gen 2. Ralph says, my first Snivy outbreak was right where you are, but a little closer to the wall, and it was horrible. So I reset again and got it in a much better spot. Yeah. Do, um, I think, Ralph, I think you told me that your reset was like in this area here, right? Just north of this mud pit. But I'm telling you, if, if, you, if we can get a Snivy outbreak in one of these two patches over here, Mm, that would be wonderful. But we will see. We're going to reset again. 
We got Bulbasaur to spawn, so maybe we'll get a little... Oh, I went too far. Back through. Start software. Reset. Negative. Settings. System. Date and time. Toggle through. Back over. Start software. Ralph says, Snivy Outbreak isn't that rare. You will see another with the grass sandwich for sure. Okay. Is, is Chikorita's Outbreak super rare or something? I, th I think all the uh, starter Pokemon have a little more rarity to their Outbreaks, right? But... Holy poop. Um... Let's try and I'm going to go to the coastal rest area and start doing this because I I think if you stay closer to the area, you get um, more outbreaks for that biome. At least at least that's what I've heard or I've seen online. I don't know how true that is. Oops. time reset oh there we go we got a chicory outbreak there it is there it is yo what i'm trying to get on my bike not hit the home button really grookey you had to just spawn right in front of me right there as I'm passing through the hitbox, the Pokemon spawning in. Ralph says, my outbreak was more by the higher fly point in that zone, but anywhere without grass would be great. Okay. Yeah, even, oh man. Even the yellow grass probably wouldn't be that bad for the Snivy outbreaks. As long as he's not in the green grass. The green grass would be a little on the horrible side. All right. Be a good outbreak. Whoa, you found a mouse outbreak of wild Chikorita. I did? There we go. There's four. Come on, spawn more. Spawn more Chikoritas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe if I go this way, I can get more to spawn in. There we go. There's an execute. This little chikorita wants to be my friend. One that spawned up here. I feel like this is probably a good spot for resetting up here okay oops wrong button let's put our boy Slade to the top because he is our outbreak battling fool Ralph says Chikorita is, oh, go ahead those ones. Five, six, you know what? This might be a good time to do this. Does it still work if you're synchroed with your Pokemon in an outbreak to knock these out? What do I have six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ralph says Chikorita is a little rare, but I still saw that outbreak plenty of times while resetting for six hours to get a Cyndaquil outbreak. Oh my god. 
eight, nine, 10, move, We just got to execute underneath them. Eleven. There's one on the side of the hill here. Twelve. Well, there's one. Sp they're spawning on the beach too. Katie, welcome to the stream. Katie says, hi, just woke up two minutes ago. Yo, welcome. Good morning. 14. I think it might be better just to not be synchro. Because then at least I can jump up on the ledges. You know? Like these guys up here, they got to go. 15. 16, 17, move these out of the way over here. How's your Tuesday going, Katie? How you doing? It's night right now. Yes, it's night for me as well. 19, did he get him? 20. Twenty one. Twenty two. Ralph says your grass sandwich is still going. If so, you should close the game to get rid of it so you can see the true outbreak and be sure you're KOing the right 60. Oh, good point. OK, so save, save here, close out. Got it. I didn't even think about that. Close this and then <clears throat> go back in. Good hint there. Good hint, Ralph. Melissa says back. Welcome back to the stream. Katie says it's 11 p.m. Yo, it's a little bit later for you than it is for me. It's only 8.10 where I'm at. It's only 8.10 for me. Okay, so we got our outbreak. We're going to finish knocking these out. I, I got 15 right now. So need to get to 60 knocked out. And then we can start our picnic resetting. And I'm going to try and get all three um chikoritas while we're here so sandwich is done what are you doing dude knock that one out Scarlet says, hi, hello, Scarlet. Ralph says, glad you knew to save. Definitely forgot to mention that part. <laughs> yeah, definitely do none of the resetting things without saving. <laughs> always, always save. Anytime you're gonna close your game for something, I think that's 21 there. 22, 23, 24. You know, I, I'm not sure. I, I know that like the Craig, welcome to the stream. What's up? How you doing? Um, Ralph, are, are you aware that, you know, when the, the little tags come up that tell you like the, the 
outbreak is fading or less are spawning there's there's two different tags that pop up once you knock out so many i don't think that you actually have to count all of them as long as you notice that that tag mo uh, pops up because when the final one does i think you can start uh your, that means your shiny odds are up. I think. Ralph says, got all three Chikorita and two Execute in maybe three sandwiches. Nice. That's solid. Solid work. Okay, the number of Chikorita in the Outbreak is definitely getting lower. And then when we see the next uh, tag, which it tells us like, it's about to go away. I think we can do it without. I think we can do it without uh, messing it up. Craig says I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so my attention is divided. Hey, yo, no worries. We're we're just shiny hunting here, so you do what you do. I'm pretty sure a lot of the other viewers. Um, or at least a couple of the viewers are also shiny hunting on the side. So you complete that Final Fantasy game, baby. And I hope you're loving it. Craig asks, uh, did you see the new Beetlejuice trailer? I did. And it looks cool. I'm glad that they're bringing um, a couple of the actresses back. I'm excited to see how... Yo, that thing's not shiny, right? No, okay. Just the shading was weird and his and his butt was pink. Um but I did see the Beetlejuice trailer. I sent it to to Gina. Um I'm excited. I I think it'll be a fun one. I I'm liking I'm liking all these reboots and and uh sequels and and continuations of, of older storylines like like even the ghostbusters revisits um were, were super fun i'm a fan i am a fan craig says these chats are getting full and i love it yo me too it is fun getting starting to get a little bit of a community in here it's good to see I'm hoping hoping we can continue to grow with some more. We can get we can get some other friends in here to hang out and enjoy the streams. But for right now, it's nice, it's cozy, it's quaint. We can't complain. Yo, Beetlejuice trailer is good, but what we really need to talk about is how good it is anyone else watching X-Men 97? Because I was texting back. Okay, not many Chikorita left. That means we're good. We have hit our mark on the Chikoritas. Knocking them out. All right, we are at the best shiny odds that we can get from the outbreak. And I am going to find a good spot to picnic reset this. So that I can set up a shiny grass sandwich to combine with, with the picnic or combine the picnic odds with my shiny charm with the outbreak. Excuse me, sorry. It's like I had the hiccups. Hopefully they're gone. Yes, we got it. Okay, look at all these little chikoritas. Look at how cute they are. Little babies. Little babies. Um, But yes, yeah, so uh, what I was saying is X-Men 97 is so good if you haven't watched it yet and and you're a fan of the 90s x-men series or like any of those saturday morning cartoons marvel cartoons cartoons marvel cartoons i didn't have to say that twice but if you're a fan of any of the saturday morning 90s marvel cartoons it is such a good nostalgia hit but they've they've enhanced uh some of the anim the animation so like the battle scenes are super clean now it's 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 cool it's super cool. 
I am a huge fan. Cannot wait. Tomorrow, the, the third episode drops. I'm going to be watching it for sure. Unless I'm not sure how I feel about Jenna Ortega, but I'm definitely excited for it. Not sure about Jenna Ortega. What, what's, what turns you off about Jenna Ortega? I feel like she did such a good job in the Wednesday series. Um, she played that character to a T, and if she's going to play the the role of um oh my gosh i forget the actress's name the 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 younger the, well she played the girl then and now she i think she's filling the role of the mom now right unless it's like a grandma daughter granddaughter setup i'm not sure but anyways i feel like she she would fit in that role perfect with alongside of a beetlejuice you know Okay, we're gonna make our shiny encounter encounter sandwich to top on top of our shiny charm on top of um, the outbreak odds. So I need two lettuce, one green, one red, one yellow bell pepper. We go. Oh, you know what? Hold on, fam. I did not save yet, so we need to we need to save this, and then. We'll set up our picnic here. Craig Perales says, House of Dragon just dropped two trailers, Team Black or Team Green. Yo, I saw both of those trailers. They look epic. I am so excited. Cannot wait. Oh, I'm telling you, it is getting so good, so good. I'm definitely a Team Black fan, my friends. If you watch House of Dragon, you know. If you don't, try it out. It's good. So excited for House of Dragon Team Black all day. Love me a strong female lead. It is good to see. Okay, uh, we need to go to creative mode. Two lettuce, one green, one red, one yellow. And then we need two salts and then any two Herba Mystica. Um, I feel like the sour and bitter has been going well for us. So don't fix something that's not broken. We're going to do the parasol pick because it's fun. It's a fun one. And it just feels right for the Chikorita outbreak. All right. Stack these bell peppers on the sandwich. And then we're going to put the lettuce on top to cover them up. Cover these here. Yo, I just want to say thank you to everyone hanging out. Chat is lively tonight. I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibes. If you haven't already, please drop a like on the stream. Drop a like. Get the likes up. Get the... the oh, don't. Don't leave lettuce. Yeah, get those likes up. Get us pushed out into the YouTube algorithm. Let's get some more friends in here to watch the stream. I feel like Jenna Ortega is a modern day Kristen Stewart. Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? Please work. I hope that lettuce didn't fall too far off the sandwich. Are we subway approved? Are we subway approved here? I'm hoping so. Let's see. We are. We're good. Sparkle title encounter power. We are all lined up. Everything's good. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Craig asked if we watched the new Last Call episode yet. I did. I did today, Craigie. It was a good one. If you guys don't know, Craig has a video game podcast with another in real life friend of ours named Andrew, and they do... Um, they just follow the, all the gaming space. So um, if you are a console gamer ps5 um nintendo switch xbox they're a good podcast to follow last call 
Productions with a Z is where you'll find them. I'll drop it in. I'll drop a link here in a little bit. I'll drop a link here in just a minute. You guys can head over, drop a sub on that page. They drop weekly videos um, following gaming content. So Craigie does a good job of keeping everyone up to date on gaming space, console gaming space news. It's a good one to follow. Okay. Let's set up our picnic. I'm going to get the last call link right here. Last call. Oh, doc. Oops. No, 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 no. What is going on here? Go to my subs. Why isn't it coming up? Last call productions with a Z. Oh, it's last call gaming. My my bad. Last call gaming. That's why. Okay. I found it here. Let's copy this. And then I'm post, I'm gonna paste that right into chat. You guys follow that link, do what you do, go check them out. It's a good podcast. It's fun to watch. I listen to it weekly. It's a good one. Kristen Stewart just has the same emotions for every movie. I feel like, okay, that's a fair assessment. That's a pretty fair assessment. I, I can't, I can't argue against that. No dynamism to her acting. And so you feel like Jenna Ortega is the same. Yeah. I mean, I guess I really haven't watched a whole lot of Jenna Ortega. I just feel like she did so well on the Wednesday stuff. And I feel like Wednesday is a lot of the same vibe as, um, what Beetlejuice is going to be. So with that being said, I feel like she's going to do a good job. Hey, if you're, if you're good in a specific type of role, why go away from it? You know, I feel like, uh, it's, uh, Dermot Mulroney. He, he, he made a career on that, you know? Besides, like, I think he did a couple Westerns, but that man is, has been in so many rom-coms. It's not even funny. And now he's playing the father of the, of different characters in rom-coms now. His, his character dynam dynamic doesn't hardly ever change. But he found his niche and he stuck to it. I think you got to give him cred for that. Give him a little cred, little street cred. Craig says, what are your thoughts on Acolyte? Yo, um, I watched the trailer. I, I don't know. Like I'm so I'm torn. I want Star Wars to do well, but I've been disappointed by the recent Star Wars stuff. Like I, I can't stay. I can't honestly stay, uh, stay into it to like, just to straight up put it there. It, it's, it's not, um, it's not that I think it's going to suck. I hope it does well. I hope that they do like Craig, you said it, you said it perfectly in, in your podcast that, um, going to a more dark side themed uh, character and whatnot, you hope that they, you hope that they take a darker turn for it, you know, and, and, um, and kind of not, not necessarily gored up. Like, I don't think they have to have blood guts and gore, like R rated stuff, but they need to, they need to, they need to go dark, you know, 
if they're gonna show us the dark side, they need to go dark and like give us something different. Give us something more creative than what we've been getting. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not a huge fan of what Disney's Star Wars has been putting out for us. Plain and simple. I think there's been a lot of lacking and lack of creativity. Um, I'm not, I'm not completely against the Skywalker saga and like the Skywalker line and staying within that realm, but I would like to see some other stuff. And we, you, we've got the, like you've hit on it before in other last call gaming videos, Craig, but they've got the space to do it now with the Disney plus area to throw out some side series that take you to different areas and different eras of the Star Wars universe. And I don't feel like they're exploiting that at all. They're they're just they're just trying to hearken to people's nostalgia. And based on nostalgia based off of specific characters, I should say. Not just nostalgia, but nostalgia based off of specific characters or love for specific characters. And I don't think that it's, I don't think it's, it's doing well. And I want it to. This outbreak sucks. Maybe this is a good spot to picnic reset. Says last call gaming now we switched it it's the old name but i'm glad you know it's still yes i do well your your at on youtube is still last call productions with the z so if you put it all in in one word it'll still bring it up i do like wednesday but exactly what craig said ortega in scream 2 she's just to 26 to play 16. this isn't breakfast club <laughs> She's too mature to be playing roles that are that are younger characters. Ralph, I still need to watch the Star Wars movies. Seen episode three and loved it. Just never got around to watching the rest. I I love the original trilogy, three, four, and five. Or uh, technically, they're four, five, and six. Um. So A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. But I'm a huge fan of the prequels and mainly reads, um, the third, episode three. Episode three is my favorite for sure. Just because I feel like um, Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen, their, their dynamic in that movie between each other, the emotional turmoil between the two characters of Obi-Wan and, and um, Anakin, obviously. Um, you see Anakin's arc complete to Darth Vader transformation, and there's just so much to love about it. And then the fact that Ewan McGregor and, and Hayden Christensen spent so much time making sure that their, their lightsaber choreography if you go back and look, they, they they did all of their own lightsaber duels and and learning all the choreography for it. So to take all that time and to see how well it was done. Like I know, I remember being a kid when the prequels came out in theaters and being so excited for it because I was young, young um, when they when they like video released high def versions of the original 80s movies. So I got to see those in theater when I was in elementary school. And then in the end of elementary school into junior high um, is when, and like, I think beginning of high school, maybe just, maybe just end of elementary school into junior high is when um, the prequels came out for, for me. But I just remember loving those so much. So that was like my prime for Star Wars. Um, episode two is kind of, kind of a dud, to be honest. It, like of the original prequels episode two actually of all six original <laughs> movies that uh that were done um under lucas i think episodes two is probably the worst episode probably by far 
in my opinion. Um, it's stale. It's it, it just it pushes the story along, but there, there's not a lot to it, to be honest. And then like a lot of people loved that you get to see Yoda in a lightsaber battle at the end of that movie. But even that, like, it's just all CGI. You know, you, you can't appreciate the skill that like Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor put together in episode three. Holy crap. I love going back and just watching that lightsaber duel. The last half hour of that movie. Oh, 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 oh. it's so good. So good. Yo, I'm not even sure what executes shiny looks like. The eggshells turn color, right? That's a yellow flower. Yellow flower, blue, red flower, blue thorns, red flower, blue thorns. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Okay. Um. I'm about that dark movies type ish big horror fan. I'm not a huge horror fan movie fan. Ralph says I need to I still need to watch Star Wars movies. I seen episode three and loved it. Just never got around to watching the rest. Yo, you've only seen episode three. Dude, Ralph, you got to check them out there. The original six movies are great. The the original three. I haven't gone back and watched in a while. But I know that the action doesn't hold up well, but the story is still great and the acting is still good. Like Harrison Ford, nothing gets better than Harrison Ford as Han Solo. He's just awesome. Um, Ralph says the lightsaber battles were epic. Yes, they were. In episode three, they were so good, especially because you've just well actually episode one phantom menace you get to see you and mcgregor um in a pretty sick lightsaber battle as well because um obi-wan battles with darth maul at the end of that movie and i don't remember the actor's name that played darth maul but he is was actually like trained in some sort of combat um and swordsmanship and so dude that 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 duel is sweet and especially darth maul he's got the the double bladed lightsaber it and for its time when everyone saw that it was so sick because most lightsabers they all look the same like the hilt was just different you know they were just a single blade and then the hilt would be different depending on um the jedi wielding it or or sith wield sith lord wielding it you know but then you saw darth maul maul in that 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 original trailer, I remember seeing that on television, that original trailer coming out and seeing Darth Maul. He lights up the one side and you're just thinking that's a regular lightsaber and then he grabs it with his second hand and lights up the other side and you're like, what is this guy? Who is this villain I need to know? I'm getting chills just thinking about it right now. Craigie says they're exploiting, not exploring. Me and you agree. Revenge of the Sith in the prequels is fire. Yeah, dude. Revenge of the Sith in the prequels, in my opinion, is the best of, of all of the Star Wars movies. Like the whole Skywalker saga, Revenge of the Sequel, or uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Sequel, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith in the prequels is the best, best one by far. Oh, sorry. Am I, she's asleep in her crib. I'm being too loud. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good. I like that. Ralph says facts. I had no idea. I had no idea anyone was and still uh, so involved in the story. Yeah. I love star Wars. It, it was my first, one of my first, um, one of my first, what, what do you call it? Like <laughs> nerd culture loves. I guess. Obviously, besides like growing up with in Pokemania, I love Pokemon. And uh, in like old school Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog era and whatnot. But like the first actual nerd culture phenomenon that I was big into probably would be Star Wars. And I loved it as a kid. 
I remember having epic Star Wars weekends until I got like later in high school and then it turned into Lord of the Rings. Epic Star uh, Lord of the Rings weekends where I would just watch the entire trilogy. I would do like two two days. I would break up I with the Star Wars stuff. I used to break up like the original trilogy and then go to the prequels the next day. I loved it. Loved it. Yo, I keep getting these execute spawns over here and I'm not sure what uh, the shiny actually looks like. I, I need to pull it up. <laughs> Cause if I miss, <laughs> if I miss an execute phase, that'd kind of be sad. Exec. E X E G G. Cute, right? Nope. That's not how you spell it. How do you spell it? E X E G G C U T E. There's no. Oh, it's like golden. No, oh, that's actually a good shiny. Okay, so it 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 it, it looks. It looks like a golden egg. All right. I haven't I haven't seen it then yet. But the, dude, what is what is with the Blueberry Academy spawning these Pokemon on top of other Pokemon with the execute lines or the executors? Why do they got to be spawning on top of others all the time? Craig Prowlis says, speaking of CGI, new Apes trailer. Apes trailer? Are you talking about uh, Godzilla Kong? Because that trailer is freaking sweet. There's actually two trailers I watched today. And that movie looks like it's going to be such great action. The acting in those movies hasn't been the greatest. And the stories, I mean... It's monsters destroying cities and each other. So you just go for the cool epic action scenes. Um, I like some of the new stuff that Disney's coming out with for Star Wars franchise, but not liking it all. The trailer seems like it's going to be a bit more action, which I love. So excited for that. Melissa saying on Acolyte. I'm, I'm going, I'm probably way far behind you guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of, of what they're doing. Like the Mandalorian uh, season one and two were okay, um, but besides that, not a huge fan of the Disney Plus stuff that they're doing with Star Wars. Um, you'll know when you see a shiny execute. Ralph says, "Yeah, for sure, it's golden. It's like completely different." Um, Pro Craig Prowl says, "77 to 83 is still the shit." Acting aside, story is gangster. Oh shoot, what were we talking about? 77 to 83. Oh, you're talking about the the Star Wars, the original Star Wars movies. Um, yeah, acting is well, the story's the story is just like it was so trend setting, you know. People tried to adapt the same, like similar story assets to that's not shiny. Uh the lighting was weird. That chikorita looked like it was spawning in shiny. Um Adapting that story to like other that other genres and whatnot. Um, Melissa says also CGI for that trailer is insane, but I'm not really a fan of those movies. They never caught my attention. Um, talking about Star Wars, that's eh, okay. They're not for everybody. Um, Ralph says you're so balanced. A little of this nerdy stuff and a little of this nerdy stuff in sports. On the same way, just replace Star Wars with me being a horror movie geek. Yo. For real, like when it uh, comes to sports, I I grew up a huge basketball fan, and then in high school I became a a soccer nut, um, ma mainly for international soccer. So yeah, when it comes to that stuff, um, I used to follow NFL pretty heavily, fell off a little bit once I once I got older, um, had a real job, and then and then had kids. My time is a little more limited. Uh, <clears throat> Craig says, well, it's monkey around to have an ape day. 
<laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, hear no evil. You didn't do this the speak. Balance is life. Yes, it is. Um, and a movie day. Yeah, I would do full on movie days. Like in, in junior high and high school, um, it would come to weekend times and I would just do straight sit on the couch, bucket of popcorn, and then nerd out trilogies or or series. Um I must have rewatched the Star Wars trilogies more times than I would like to admit. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Between those and then uh, later in high school, I had multiple Lord of the Rings weekends. I loved those movies. Never really liked the book. I tried reading the books. I got through, I got through Fellowship, but the uh, Tolkien's writing style, people, yo, like I, so many people rave about how great those books are. And I'm telling you, they are horrible. They like, oh my God. It, it, he's like overly descriptive of things. Like it, it's good to have detail and it's nice. Like, especially in when you're creating when you're creating like a fantasy world, it's cool. But by golly gosh, Tolkien, you, you wild man, you, he, he, he took it to an extreme with those, with those books. Um, Craig says Pla planet of planet of the apes there's a new planet of the apes coming out i haven't seen that no dude i gotta check that out pylord says execute shiny is excellent yo it really is it's so good ralph says i'd be down for a movie day oh you guys want me to host a movie day on stream i could probably make something like that happen i don't know i don't know how like copyright and all that kind of stuff works though with uh with movie stuff so I'd have to look into it a little bit more before I fully commit to something like that. Cause I don't want to get myself into trouble cause that's not fun. Um, Craig says, <laughs> it feels like we're messing me up. Yeah, it's okay though. No biggie. The, the, this, this outbreak really isn't, uh, isn't good. I'm half tempted to like move on or just hope that I get a shiny of a different grass Pokemon over here. Like, look at this. What? Why am I only getting like four Chikorita spawns? Oh, there's one down there. And another. Maybe I just need to set up my picnic over here. Um. <laughs> Ralph says Pylord's getting a little punny. Yes, he is. Ralph is no Ralph is from uh, another streamer's stream I, I met and came over this way from there. Um, Pylord Ralph got the punch line. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, running with him like crazy. I almost deleted some of my comments. And what's BHC? BHC is uh, a city in Arizona. Um, classic Ralph, we can do a discord movie night. <laughs> yeah, we could, that'd be cool. Um, Craig says, stop while you're ahead. Uh, Beverly Hills cop, Ralph says, Pylord, I'm sure as long as you're commentating, fair use should be in play. I'm still butthurt about the whole Harry Potter, Fantastic Beast franchise. I want another, but I get why they aren't making another. Yo, Harry Potter franchise was good too. That was another one uh, that, but the Harry Potter franchise is like opposite of the twin or of the uh, the Lord of the Rings franchise for me. So where I didn't like the Lord of the Rings books, but loved the movies and I would watch them over and over still to this day. Um, I don't really have the time to sit and watch the whole trilogy in a weekend anymore though. Um, but like where where that would be opposite with Harry Potter for me, because I read all the Harry Potter books twice, that whole entire series. I loved it. It was so good. Um, and then the movies, the movies just. 
kind of let me down to be honest because they 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 had like that's one where there were like aspects of the books like details that were that were changed to different characters or like left out that um that you don't get in the movies that help with some of the character building um especially for like the movies there's certain characters that are like way less lovable because they didn't they didn't get their time to shine as much you know as as what they did in the books and then just some of the sequences like i don't know details about like the different competitions and quidditch play and things like that yeah um Ralph says, I do have Discord, just not in case he's... Uh, I, I'm actually going to... I, I have a personal Discord server um, that I need to tweak and adjust, and I'll probably I'll probably set up a Discord for, for everyone to hang out in. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That's all. But I will set one up. I will definitely set one up. And then as soon as I have it set up, I will link... I will put the link on my page... Um, and I'll drop it in here and let y'all know when that happens. Um, Daniel says, I'm, I'm done with Zekrom for now. Still no luck on that Zekrom, I'm guessing. I still, uh, Ralph says, I still need to see the last Fantastic Beast movie. I didn't watch it either. Kian, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hunts are going okay today. I, I, um, I'm, I'm interacting more with chat than really hunting. This um, out, Chikorita outbreak kind of stinks, to be honest. Um, but we're working with it. So, it te it tees what it tees. I've we've already knocked out our um, chikoritas in the outbreak. Can't really find a good position to like position myself in this in this outbreak to properly picnic reset, but we're getting through. Um, Pylor says my pancakes are amazing. Just finished eating them. Yo, pancakes. Did did you did you do bananas in your pancakes? Any blueberries in your pancakes? And also, I think I've talked about this before on a stream, but I am a huge fan of peanut butter on my pancakes. Anyone else? Any other takers peanut butter on your pancakes? Especially waffles. Peanut butter on waffles and pancakes is awesome i'm kind of a peanut butter fiend like reese's are probably one of my favorite candies to eat i can i can go ham sauce on some reese's cups or gina will get me the dark chocolate peanut butter um like cups from trader joe's that actually blow reese's out of the water so if you have a trader joe's near you and you have and you like reese's I highly recommend getting yourself some of the dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Craig says the beast movies are done and you really don't need, you don't have to yet. Yeah, <laughs> the fantastic beast movies. Ralph says it's going good. Um, already caught one shiny target on the first sandwich. Yes, we did. Daniel's back. Welcome back, Daniel. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, Ralph says it's disappointing. Harry Potter should have had a better follow-up series or prequel. The, the yeah, the the follow-up series was okay. Um, just don't think it, it, the the the. Uh, I don't think that the characters were as relatable. I, I think they were trying to um, capitalize on the fact that like most of the Harry Potter fans had grown up at that time. So you're following adults, but like realistically, all of those previous Harry Potter fans wanted to be able to share that experience with their kids that they had from watching the first Harry Potter movies. And I don't think that the characters were as relatable, especially to kids the, that time around. But that's my opinion. Who knows? I could be wrong. Um, Melissa agreed that the whole Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter stuff. Um, books are better for Harry Potter, but still love the movies. Yeah, the movies are still good. I, they weren't crap. I just, the they left out some things that kind of made me sad. Um, Craig says they're rebooting the whole. 
what? The whole up in a, a show in HBO Max. So seven seasons, 20 plus episodes and their chapters. I'm down for that. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Craig. I'm probably getting too late to reading back that one. Um, no one can replace the characters. Peanut butter is gross. You're crazy. Peanut butter is amazing. Unfortunately, allergic to peanut butter. Oh, sorry, Pie Lord. That is not nice. Um, did the stream freeze? Uh-oh, did stream freeze? Um, okay, so our sandwich is done. We have not gotten the shiny. Okay, I'm gonna set up a picnic here and I'm gonna do another sandwich. Um, actually, we need to save before the sandwich is set up. Actually, I probably should go back to save resources, but we're not gonna do that because I can always just resource hunt with y'all on another stream. Um, Pylor says, never really liked the outbreak system in Scarlet and Violet, prefer Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Let's Go methods. Um, Sun and Moon was the SOS stuff, right? And then Let's Go was the catch combos. Let's Go is cool. Um, I like the outbreaks. I think, I think it's actually, it's nice. The, the thing about Scarlet and Violet, it's just any, any method you use, it just feels so easy, you know, which is good because it's welcoming to more people to shiny hunt Pokemon. So that that's good. Um, Craig says they're making an HBO show, seven seasons, 20 plus episodes. I'm down for that. I can do a reboot. Um, so is that for Harry Potter? Ralph says he used to put peanut butter on my eggs before football practice. Yo. <laughs> I can eat peanuts, but can't have any tree nuts. That's that's odd. I I thought anyone with a nut allergy is like allergic to all nuts. Um, Craig's a syrup on his pizza guy. That's for sure. We know that. Um, Craig says I didn't know the HP convo posted two times. Sorry. Oh, so yeah, Harry Potter is getting a series on HBO. Yo, that's that would be good. Um, you know the there HBO Max has some good series. I I watched the Titans uh, series. I'm towards the end i still haven't finished it yet but that series is actually really good if you're a fan of dc comics and the the teen titans titans on hbo max is a good one um talking about harry potter yeah i saw that um oh you're not liking that they're going to change the characters ah, it is what it is so, i mean everything's going to get rebooted at some point you know so just hopefully they can uh they can make it as good as the originals were. Two salt um, and any two herba. We're gonna go with, I'm gonna go sour and bitter again. And let's go with the party sparkler this time. All right, hyper focus time. Let's make this sandwich. We got this, we got this. Pylord said, yeah, it's nuts how people have allergies, like my peanut butter allergy. Yo, um, I've got I've got two younger brothers. Well, um, I've got a younger brother that has a has a nut allergy. So he's like super allergic to peanuts. He he's got to keep an EpiPen on him. Um so yeah. He he likes peanut butter too. He's had it before. <laughs> As a kid, that's how that's how we found out that he was allergic to it. And then um he's accidentally eaten like peanut butter candies and fortunately had EpiPens on him for when it happened. Um no, no. Oh my God. Stay on the sandwich. This one is definitely not subway approved y'all, but I think we're still getting our, our powers. We're still getting our powers. This one is not subway approved whatsoever. <laughs> oh no. Big McClank, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? I hope your night is going well. Um, Craig, my, my dad did syrup on pie, so I thought it was natural. So when I did it in the wild, there were stairs <laughs> oh, putting syrup on your pizza. Craig loves Craig and his twin brother put syrup on their pizzas. It is a thing. 
It is a thing. Ralph says no eggs. Uh, no eggs. LOL Evo waffles with peanut butter. Hey, waffles with peanut butter is good. Um, Pylord says technically biolo biologically peanuts are the same species as tree nuts. Okay. That would make sense. Because usually when people have nut allergies, they're allergic to all nuts. Sparkling title and counter power grass. That's what we want to see. Hey, our subway, our sandwich might not have been subway approved, but it got the job done. Okay. That's what we care about. And now we want to see some chicory to spawn. Th this outbreak is freaking crap. Can we just talk about how crappy this outbreak is right now? I'm not even going to let them all spawn in. I'm just going to keep resetting a little quicker this time. Ralph, I've been there before, Craig, talking, uh, taking some regular stuff at home out into the world, and everyone looks at you like you're crazy. In case he misses it, Harry Potter reboot show. Yeah, I, I got that. I, 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 I assimilated that as I went back through. <laughs> Melissa says cheese and sprinkles. Tell me you don't put cheese and sprinkles on something. This sandwich was Jimmy John's approved, but not Subway. Yo, Jimmy John's is better than Subway. Come on. That's not even a question. But I did recently find out that Jimmy John's discontinued their kick and ranch, and I'm so upset about it. Like, why would you do that? Why would you take the best thing on your menu off of the menu? I don't get it. Big McClank says, I'm doing good. I'm going through the Elite Four in Let's Go right now. Yo, I'm glad you're doing well, Big McClank. Good luck on your Elite Four run. I hope you make it through unscathed and, uh, and get to the end there. Become that champion you're meant to be. Pylord says, meant to say not. Meant to say not. Uh, oh, technically, uh, biological peanuts are not the same species as tree nuts. Okay, that makes sense. Got it. Um, but some people may be allergic to both or allergic to the same chemical that they may share. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You should have just suffered instead of the outbreak. No, no way. The, I, you know how you know how many phases I would have had without the outbreak. I, like I'm enduring this crappy outbreak because of the fact that if I run around this area with a shiny sandwich, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get like. 10 other grass Pokemon. And I'm going to like for sure phase. Ralph says peanuts are more closely related to a bean than other tree nuts. Hey, we're, we are thriving, surviving, and learning fun facts in our chat tonight. If you're not here learning with us, what the heck is over there? Is that supposed to be like a Terra Pokemon? There was just like sparkle, random sparkles in the in the wild. It almost looked like the the sparkle, um, the sparkle image from like what is that? What is going on over there? Am I crazy? Is anyone else seeing the 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 sparkles on the in the distance, like over there? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but. Big McClank says, is there one on the sand? Yes, there is. I don't, I think I already checked that one on the sand, but we'll make sure that's the first one just to be sure. There's two on the sand now. Yeah, this, this is not a good outbreak, but I'm, I'm totally okay enduring this outbreak given the fact that the alternative would be running around this area and possibly phasing with Comfe, Cottony, Whimsicott, Execute, Executor, Alolan Executor, or, or just Alolan Executor, not ex not regular Executor. Um, I think Bulbasaur, <laughs> like there, there's, there's too many other possibilities. Unfortunately, with Chikorita, oh, Deerling, Sawsbuck, don't forget them. 
unfortunately with Chikorita, I think this is this has got to be the way we're gonna do it. Oh look, and then we just get some two cannons spawning in as well, just for funsies. Oh yo 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 yo, there it is! Yo, he's up on the hill. We we got one. We got one. We got one. Come on, let's freaking go, y'all. Hey. This is why enduring the outbreak is okay. Look at that. Look at that little golden one. That little golden boy. With his fall leaves. Okay, let's make sure. I need to put uh, Duckingham at the front so we can soak this little turd. <clears throat> Big McClank says, is there one in the sand? Or am I just crazy? Uh... I hope not, because if so, I probably despawned it. If I had two and the same spawn, um, I just despawned it. Someone go back and check. Someone go back and clip it or check it. It's probably a Terra, or it's probably a Terra Pokemon that didn't spawn yet. Yeah, uh, Ralph's talking about the sparkles that I was seeing. I think so too. Shiny Chikorita, here she is. He is. This one's a boy. All right. We made her a wa made it a water type. Let's switch over to Fun Girl so Fun Girl can do work. That's what we like to see. I want to tell you to make sure to check up there, but didn't know how to explain it. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah, I was I was being sure to check up that way um, as I was cycling through uh, my turns. I had I had my eyes peeled. I did. I was ready for it. Hey, did what? Did she dodge? The, did it dodge the spore? It's protected by safeguard. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> what? Oh, this thing's got. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Um, well, I didn't get paralyzed because of the safeguard, so that's good. Let's put this in. I kind of want to put it in a nest ball because I feel like it goes with the color scheme so well. But I think it's going to be hard to get this sucker in a nest ball without, without any status. Let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Ralph says, I've been so into chat, I haven't even been watching the hunt. Yeah, no, for real. Hey, chat's been popping off tonight, yo. We've got a good little chat going. Our community is thriving and surviving and chilling and communicating. We love it. We love to see it. Oh, did the safeguard wear off? There it is. Yes, put it to sleep. Put it to sleep. Craig says he's here for the gossip. Hey, anybody love a little tea? A little tea? Come on now. Big McClank says, can anyone possibly trade me a strong Pokemon in Let's Go? I can't stop dying to Lance. And I'll trade it back to you. I don't have a complete save of Let's Go right now. So I can't help you out with that, McClank. Or else I would. I totally would. And I would just let you keep it. <laughs> But I don't have a, a solid playthrough of Let's Go right now. Melissa says, have you ever had a shiny escape? Um, not yet, but we had a very close call on Sunday. We had a very close call on Sunday. If you go back and watch the VOD from Sunday, Melissa, go into uh, into Discord. And I, I put a clip. If you follow that clip for the... I can't remember what I named it. But it's it's probably the the... Let me think. I had Rowlet, tree, uh, Turtwig, Turtwig, and then Trico's fourth. It's probably the fourth clip that's posted. If you follow it and then go to the video, as soon as that clip ends, you'll see that the shiny got away. And I reset my game because I saved right before it. So I was able to go back and catch it. But yes, it is a thing. They, they, they will not run out of your spawn radius. But um, if you if you move away from them, they can despawn. So they they will move to the edge of your spawn radius, 
And if you move the wrong direction, they will despawn. So what happened the other night is uh, we found a Trico really quickly after finding another uh, shiny. And the Trico went behind a tree while I was watching. I, I turned to watch the US men's national team. And when I turned, it disappeared. All right, we're, we're going for another. We need to go, we need to get this back. We need to get this, this, uh, yo, what is going on here? I got the wrong one. Why? Um, remove this. I need that and copy and paste. There we go. Now we got our Chikoritas. Little Chikorita. Throw her in the top up there so she can hang out with her shiny snivy friend. We're good. All right. Drop this picnic. Let him spawn. Nada. Um, did any more spawn in on the beach while I was looking away? No. Okay. Ralph says they can't run in this gen, but in previous gen or previous games, they were able to run. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you would, uh, encounter shinies, you could, they could run from battle. <clears throat> Depending on what was going on. All done picnicking, yes. So if you're if you're playing Legends Arceus, that's a good one to shiny hunt in, but the Pokemon definitely run. And so if you have like if you're hunting a skittish type Pokemon, that sucker will run off screen and despawn. And you will fail a shiny. And it's not fun. <clears throat> All done picnicking? Yes, we are. How much time we got still? Oh, we're not even halfway through this sandwich. We're good. All right, chat, how are we feeling about getting a second Chikorita on this sandwich? And if, if we do get it on this sandwich, how much time do y'all think is gonna be left? Right now we got 17 minutes, 30 seconds left on the sandwich. I'm not feeling confident that we're going to get a second one, to be honest. But if we do, I think we'll get it with like three minutes and 17 seconds left. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. If, if you put a time down in in, uh, in chat of the remaining time on this sandwich, if you get it right on the nose, I will trade the Chikorita to you. If I get a shiny on the time that you guess, I will trade you the Chikorita. Uh-oh. No other one spawned up there? Okay. Reset. Picnic reset. Ralph says first or save first always. Yes, always save. <laughs> always save before your shiny encounters. All right, as soon as you see a shiny on screen, save your game. Five twenty-three left. Definitely going getting one more with at least four forty-five remaining. Yo, that's hey, that's some good timing. I feel like y'all are are super confident in me. Y'all are super confident in me tonight. I honestly don't think I'm going to get another one this sandwich. But I just threw out the guess because I want to be part of the I want to be part of the fam. You know, I want to be in with the in crowd. 
are you laughing about, baby? Um... No shiny, no shiny. Unfortunate. Okay. I'm gonna get through this shiny sandwich and then I don't wanna make you guys endure this too much longer. <laughs> unless, unless of course you enjoy watching me picnic reset this Chikorita. What I think is gonna happen though is I'm gonna get to the end of this sandwich because now I have at least one of every shiny gens one through eight. Because we got two shiny Bulbasaurs. We got the one Chikorita now. Um, I've got two Trico now. Um, Gen four is Turtwig. I've got two of those. Gen five was Snivy. We got our Snivy tonight. Um... Gen 6 was Chespin. I've got one of those right now. Gen... S Wait, no. Gen 7 was Chespin. So what was Gen... S no, Gen 6, right? Let me think. 4 is Sinnoh. Am I going crazy? Who am I missing? Bulbasaur, Chikorita, Trico, Turtwig... Gen 5 is black and white. What am I missing right now? Help me out, chat. I'm going. I'm I'm drawing a dud. So it's Trico, Turtwig. Tespin is X and Y, right? So Turtwig, Snivy, Chespin. Oh, Rowlet. Rowlet. Which we're good. I've got all three Rowlets, so I don't need I don't need to hunt Rowlet anymore. Rowlet was Gen 7. Sun and Moon were Gen 7. I always I always get that mixed up with X and Y and Sun and Moon for some reason. So X and Y was six. Sun and Moon was seven. And then Grookey. I've got one Grookey. But, so what I'm thinking is after this sandwich ends, I got to take a quick little restroom break, refill my water. And then when I come back, I'll do, I think I'm going to do chest spin. And then we'll end with either one or two sandwiches on the beach for Grookey. That's what we'll do. Unless you guys want to see something different. I could do... I could do Turtwig. Turtwig is an isolation uh, picnic reset. Chespin's going to be in the cave. We can isolate him and roam around. Actually, you guys pick. You, you tell me what you want after this sandwich. When I get back from this... Or when I finish this sandwich and get back from the bathroom break... We can do Turtwig. I can do Trico, because I still need one more of those. I can do Chespin. I can do Grookey. Throw some votes out there in chat. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you want to see. Ralph says... How does your fiance feel about your Pokemon and Star Wars love? Well, Ralph, I don't know how she actually feels about it. Like, it doesn't bother her that I have, um, that I, she likes that I like what I like. Because my, my thing is, like, I like what I like and I'm not changing anything for it. I don't care. Um, and she likes that I'm confident in that. Um, she's not a fan of Star Wars or Pokemon, but she supports me hundred percent. Like she's told me that, um, cause I, I kind of want, I kind of want to get her to do some content with me. 
I don't know if she'll do it or not, though. But I kind of want to get her to uh, do, like, the my girlfriend guess, guesses the Pokemon things and just have her, like, the Pokemon that she doesn't know and sees. I want her just to come up with names for them, too. Like, whatever she thinks. Because <laughs> it would be great. And especially for her, like, I think she knows maybe... Between, between me and Chandler talking about it, she probably knows, like, a handful of Pokemon. I know she knows what Pikachu is. She knows what Raichu is because it's my favorite. Um, she knows what Pichu is, but I don't think she knows the name of it. <laughs> she would probably just think it's Pikachu. <laughs> but she knows that there's a baby form of Pikachu. Uh, I'm pretty sure she knows what Charizard is. Like, the, the major ones that you would know, no? Yeah, then that's what she knows. Craig says, Casey, very strong show, brother. One of your best. And I was glad I could hang out. Gino just got here. Gonna hang and watch some vids. Yo, thanks, Craig, for stopping in. I appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Give your brother a hug for me. Tell him to go back and watch the VOD, too. Ralph says, Grookey with a question mark. Oh, yeah, we could. I can hunt Grookey, too. Yeah, if that's a vote for Grookey, then. I could do the Grookey hunt as well. Grookey has a chance of phasing with Blossom. So we could, we could do that. I still need two Grookey. So. Let's see. We got eight minutes left on the sandwich. Eight minutes and 46 seconds left on the sandwich when I just pulled it up. Ralph says, my fiance isn't into Pokemon at all, but she's tried for me with po Pokemon Go. She eventually quit after getting two Shadow Shiny Mewtwo. <laughs> hey, well, at least she got a couple Shinies. No, she's... Gina is not into Pokemon at all whatsoever. Uh, the only time she really gives into playing anything Pokemon related is when Chandler asks her to uh, play Guess the Pokemon with him. <laughs> and even that, she's like super reluctant to play because he likes to he likes to just think of a Pokemon and give give you hints as to what Pokemon he's thinking of and then make you guess it. He's... Uh, for Christmas, he got a Pokeball that like basically does that. And so he he likes to, <laughs> he likes to like do that to us. Um so that's about as far as Gina gets into uh in into Pokemon stuff. Oh, okay. Well she's she's gotta let you know that she used to collect Pokemon cards when she was growing up. And she would trade with the neighbor boys while living in apartments. Oh, you think you know 10? I don't think so. No. I don't think that you could name 10. <laughs> I'm probably right. Sure. Sure, but you can't you can't just you can't just write down names that you know. You have to be able to identify the Pokemon too. Oh, you do? Okay. With without going on Google and Google searching the names that you know. Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> Gotta get get up early. Yo, good night. Have a good night, Melissa. Thanks for stopping in. All right, so far, the only vote is from Ralph for the Grookey. Anyone else have an opinion on what I shiny hunt next? If not, then I, I can just hunt that Grookey. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> oh no. I wish you guys could hear what she's saying right now. I wish you guys could hear what she's saying. It's it's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> she's thinking out loud in the kitchen which is like so my camera is set up right here and the kitchen is just over my camera we've got like a a window in the wall between between the media den here and and the kitchen <laughs> and our living space <sighs> You can't think of the tortoise's name? There's a tortoise? Oh, God. <laughs> she said that this blue one is a tortoise. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything right now. <laughs> hey, you're smart for using references that are right here on my desk, though. Yeah, there's four right there. Can you name any of those? You know three of them? What's this one? He's a Charizard? Oh, okay. And then what's this one? Raichu or Pikachu. What's this one? That's Bulbasaur? Oh, babe! God damn! At least you know the you know the grass starter. And she knows Jigglypuff. Charmander, Charizard. So which one is this? You don't know? Okay. So I think you could probably name 10, but I don't think you can identify. I don't think you could identify five. Properly. Maybe if I give you multiple choice. All the Pikachus? You do know that the girl has a heart tail. See, we're, we're getting somewhere, y'all. We know that the girl has a heart tail. <laughs> uh, Ralph asked, what else do you need? Grookey can be annoying with blossom phases. Yes, he could. I need, um, so I need to get a couple chest pin. I need one more Trico. I need, uh, I don't really want to do Snivy or Chikorita anymore <laughs> right now. If I get the second one here, I'm probably going to be good. Um, I'm good on Rallet. I need Grookey, Chespin, Trico. Grookey, Chespin, Trico. Uh, I need one more Turtwig. I need one more Turtwig. Um, Ralph says she's talking about Squirtle. Yes, she's talking about Squirtle. <laughs> the tortoise. Squirtle the tortoise. Uh, Keen says, I hunted Blossom the other day. Grookey was there too, having fun. Yeah. Hey, if you're going to hunt Grookey or Blossom on the beach, it's a good spot because you just pop a grass sandwich and you're only going to get those two spawns. But you cannot isolate just one or the other. Yeah. What is that one with all the arms that's really buff? That's Chandler's favorite. I won't tell you. <clears throat> they like to party together. Ralph says, yeah, they do like to party on the beach together. Hey, I feel like, yo, Grookey and its whole line is like party animals, right? I mean... negative no shinies there but yeah they're super party animals uh she knows gender differences in pikachu yeah she does she does know that <clears throat> that was like one of the first things that i taught chandler was the gender difference in pikachu machamp and machop yo you're getting somewhere baby 
Yeah. Those are Chandler's favorite Pokemon. There's there's one more in that family line. Do you know what the, the third one's name is? Yep, Machoke. <laughs> she said, I don't know fucking Machoke. <laughs> oh, God. I got to do some Pokemon trivia with her. That would be great. That would be so good. Maybe just make some uh, quick reels of Pokemon trivia with Gina. That would be fun. <clears throat> Babe, do you know the gender difference in Raichu? Maybe. Mm hmm. No. What'd you say? Oh, the grass, the grass sandwich is done. We're done. Hey, yo, wait. No, it's just red. I thought I saw the pink. I thought I saw the pink on its head. Okay. We're dropping a hard save. All right, I'm going to, I'm gonna go use the restroom and let me, let me switch here real quick. I'm gonna go use the restroom. You guys talk amongst yourself. Drop in chat what you think you want to see me hunt next. Um, I will I will hunt whatever you guys want to. Um, between, let's see, uh, we need another Trico. We need a Turtwig. We need... Excuse me. Chespin and Grookey. So we... Between those four, let me know what you want want to see me hunt. Uh, Turtwig is an isolation picnic reset hunt. Grookey's on the beach, could phase with the Blossom. Don't mind though. Um, Chespin is an isolation hunt and Trico is another isolation hunt. So you guys let me know. I'm gonna go use the restroom, fill up my water and I will be right back. All right, we're back. We're back, ready to go, refreshed, recharged. I'm feeling I'm feeling energized, y'all. Like like we're going to be having an awesome stream. Okay, so what I'm thinking is probably let's see. It is 9:30 for me right now. Ooh, usually I I end stream like right about 10. So, um I think maybe we'll go a little bit longer. I think we we might go a little bit longer tonight. So, um 
I'm thinking three more sandwiches. Three more? Let's let's commit to it. Three more sandwiches. We will commit to it. Um Ralph says at the end of stream one day, you should do a quick who's that Pokemon test with her. I no, I really should. I should do I should I should do something like that. We we could uh I could come up with something fun. Even if I had to do like multiple choice or like yeah, that would be good. That would be super good. I'll figure something out. We'll have to have her cameo one time or another. Pylord, I think Crokey is better. Crokey? Are you mean Froakie? You think Froakie's better? Better than in comparison to what? What were we talking about before? Or were you were you trying to say that you want you would uh, prefer the Grookey hunt? The Grookey hunt, maybe? The Grookey hunt, maybe? Oh, I didn't switch you guys over to the gameplay. I'm just sitting here looking at the gameplay while talking to y'all. Oh, goodness. Come on. Come on, Case. Okay. Over to the gameplay. Here we go. Um... Not that one. Hide that one. Actually, let's just do this. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. High Lord says yes. The, so your vote is for the Grookey Hunt. Um, okay. We got one vote for the Grookey Hunt then. Um, anyone else in chat, what would, you, what would you guys like to see? I could just rush on down over to the beach area. Oh my goodness. It's like dial up connection. Uh, 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 um, Okay. I'm here on the beach. Any other any other votes between Turtwig, Trico, Chespin, and Grookey. Otherwise, I'm just going to pop a grass sandwich right here and we will start hunting our little Grookey boy. What other outbreaks did I get when I was resetting this? Oh, there's a Squirtle outbreak. Squirtle Shiny's not really that good, though. It just looks pale. <clears throat> what, do, what do we think, y'all? What do we think? Grookey Hunt? Pylord said Pylord's boat is on Grookey. Any other voters in the chat? Let me know. Um, I should probably heal Fun Girl while we're at it. <clears throat> Any other votes for the Grass Starter Hunts? Grookey, Chespin, Turtwig. Or Trico. Turtwig, Chespin, Grookey, or Trico. Those are the options. I'm going to have to... I think after tonight, depending on where where we end up, um, where I end up with the starters, I'm probably going to um, maybe move on after tonight to different streams. 
I think I think we've done the the grass starter course. I think we ran its course. And I can always just get the last few off stream on my own. Okay. I'm not seeing any other votes in the chat, so I'm going to go ahead and bust open our picnic, get a shiny grass encounter sandwich started right here, right now, and see what we got. See what we can do. Oops. Yeah. Thanks, Zeus. Okay. <clears throat> get this bad boy started. We need two lettuce. Oops, not onion. We need one green, one red, one yellow bell pepper, two servings of salt, and I'm going to change things up on my Herba Mystica this time. Let's go for... Let's go for two spicy Herba Mystica. We're feeling spicy right now. Feeling a little spiced up, ready to go. Augie Steinley, welcome to the, the stream, my friend. How you doing? You you missed Craigers. Craigie was in, in stream just a little bit ago. He just left because he's hanging out with Gene Bean. Um, I really want this parasol pick to work, so we're gonna we're gonna make this sandwich with the parasol pick. We're we're gonna make it happen. And we're gonna get our little shiny grookey. Or we might phase with a Blossom. But either way, I'm feeling confident we're going to get a shiny in this sandwich, though. We got our, we got our Snivy. We got one Chikorita. I think I was being a little too, uh, Greedy, hoping for a second Chikorita in that time frame. Look at that. Yo, this one is fully Subway approved. This sandwich is more than Subway approved, y'all. This is a masterpiece. Look at that. We don't have any lettuce falling off this time. This might be the best sandwich of the night. And I'm hoping for the best results of the night as well. Let's... um. Let me get little our little grookey boy here on screen. So so y'all can follow along and know exactly what I'm keeping my eyes peeled for. This is our boy that we're hunting. Our little Mountain Dew monkey. And there you have it. Sparkling power, tidal power, Encounter power, all level three for the grass type. Let's go. Subway approved for short. Yo, that one was so good. I think it's Jersey Mike's approved. You you in chat let me know what you think. What level of sandwich making skill do you think that one was? I probably should have thrown the cap on top of it. Um, oh, you know what? I while we're at it, um, not that I'm hunting for this one, but I'm going to actually throw um, one. I need the gif. I need the gift, the gift, the gif. Here we go. Save this image. This is Bellossom. Oh, two S's, two L's, two S's, two O's and an M. Okay, so now I can, um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add Bellossom to the scene as well because I don't know. We I've been having some some IRL supporters tonight. Some some people that that I know personally in real life dropping in to the stream. 
And because of that, I'm not entirely sure that they are shiny hunting savvy. And so I'm going to throw both on screen right now. The real hunt is for Grookey, but Blossom looks like that little, that little, wait, this, this direction, that little purple, that little purple flower. So normally Blossom's got the little green to it. It turns like a purpley pink when it's shiny. All right. So now everybody can follow along. Augie says that he was with Gino tonight too. Yo, good. Yeah. Did you uh did you go out and and have some some food, drinks with Gene Bean? Or what did he go to uh were you doing jujitsu tonight? A little bit of jujitsu tonight. All right. Looking for our Mountain Dew monkey. If we get a phase with the Blossom, it's okay. But what our real target is that Mountain Dew Monkey Grookey. That's what we want to see. The yellow little monk. <clears throat> Augie also says Jimmy John level. Let's go. Yo, my my call out was Jersey Mike's because Jersey Mike's is good. You you know what? Usually I prefer Jimmy John over jersey mics though but recently i've been a little bit saddened because jimmy john's discontinued their kick and ranch and i'll tell you what if you never got a chance to try the jimmy john's kick and ranch i'm sorry because that is that stuff was a game changer they have like this jalapeno ranch now that's good it's just not the same level as the kick and ranch. It's just not. Oops. Why is this Kerbrawler out here? Nope. I don't know why there's just a Kerbrawler still chilling right in the middle of our grass encounter sandwich. The fighting type walking on the beach. Getting his tan on before he goes to the gym. Probably has some laundry to do at home. He says little t-ball game for great. Okay, cool. How'd he do? Did he do well at his t-ball game tonight? T-ball's fun with those little ones. I coached Chandler's T-ball team for like three seasons in a row. But we've we've moved on to soccer now. So I should be hearing from uh their co for from Chandler. Actually, Aubrey's trying out soccer this this season as well for the spring. Because it lines up to where. Are you kidding me? There's just a Snivy chilling over here. Had that stinking outbreak right up against the wall, and then that Snivy just wanted to wanted to laugh in my face by spawning on the beach side. I love how they spawn just napping underneath the tree. No Mountain Dew monkey. <clears throat> Augie says, yeah, I think he did. It was cute. You got to move him to basketball. Yeah, um, actually, you know what? Uh, Chandler really does want to play basketball. The only thing is, is um, so the, the one year last year, I was going to sign him up for Boys and Girls Club. <clears throat> the previous year, I missed the cutoff to get him signed up for Boys and Girls Club basketball. Um, and then last year... Oh, shoot. I ran into him. Um, I went to go get him signed up and he wasn't old enough because they switched to some new like NBA junior program and the lowest age division is like eight years old. 
And so technically, I think this year he's still not age eligible. They they were like, well, we do, you know, week long basketball training things for the younger kids. Um, so I might get him in like something like I might I might sign him up for one of those. But yeah, they. Uh, they don't they don't do the little five year olds anymore with like the mini hoops, which is sad. It's unfortunate. Cause I feel like it was a, it was a good thing for the youngsters to get on the court, start learning how to dribble at least. Um, that was one of the most fun I had too, was coaching, uh, kindergartners in basketball. <laughs> oh man. When I first moved, uh, back home from Tucson from college, I had a buddy that, that I went to high school with that was an assistant director at the local boys and girls club. And, um, he knew that I had moved back. And so he needed coaches for the, the little division, the five-year-olds, the kindergartners parent. There was a, a parent that, uh, was going to coach the team and the season had started and they backed out. So they like got the team roster, everything. Um, it was like two weeks into practices or something and they backed out that following weekend i think was gonna be the start of the season so my buddy hit me up he's like dude i'm in a bad way i need someone to coach and at the time i was coaching junior high ball at uh at fox creek augie i was actually coaching you at that time at junior high and uh yo is this thing shiny no way Okay, it's not. Whoa. That lighting was so funky. It totally looked like it was the shiny. Um, but yeah, so I, I stepped in and filled in the role. My my buddy's like, I need a I need a coach so bad. Um, you only have to commit to like one one practice a week that's an hour long. They're the games are are not like super intense, they're not very well regulated. So I took it on. I was coaching junior high ball at the same time. And so one day a week, I would have practice with the little ones. And I swear, man, it was so much fun with those little boogers. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. And but it was it was definitely uh, some of the most fun I had coaching was coaching that kindergarten level uh, for basketball. Kindergarten level for basketball. And literally it was teaching them the basics of basics, how to dribble a ball, how to how to dribble a ball while moving <laughs> um we got a little bit into layups at the end of the season but some basic shooting form but they they can't even hold the ball right to shoot with real form anyways um but yeah that, that was some fun times super fun times they're just learning the basics learning the rules it was a good time. It was a good time. All right. So the last time I was hunting for Grookey a couple streams ago, I got the Grookey and a Blossom in one sandwich. So if we get that again, that would be pretty sweet, actually. I would not mind that at all. Augie says, how would a game like that be regulated? It's not. Uh, they, at the time, we, uh, so they had these little wristbands that the players would wear. And so basically, like, to teach you how to, to defend your man in a way. But, like, they, they weren't really defending. Um, you they had colored wristbands. So each kid would have a different colored wristband. So you'd have five different colors on your team and those same five colors would be on the other team. And that was like your man that you, that you defended. So it was kind of teaching them how to, um, play man to man defense a little bit. And then, uh, the coaches were the referees in the little kids games. They, they didn't have, there was no official scorekeeping, none of that. Um, and you had to make sure that everyone on your team, um, got to play at least one quarter. So I just rotated my kids, um, each quarter they would rotate out. 
or like one player would rotate out if I needed to. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And then just the the pure joy, like some of the kids scoring their their like first and only goal of the season, really, <laughs> in some games. Because like, I mean, in one game, you would maybe get one or two buckets. It was mainly the ball was mainly getting tossed into the stands, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it was fun. It was fun. So like each time the kids would score and then I would, I would always like give a player of the game or like an MVP, um, at the end of the game. So that was, that was super cool. They always looked forward to it. And I don't know if you remember Augie, when, when we were coaching you in junior high, um, I used to do it and, um, Vissers used to do it too. But at the end of practice, we would we would line up on the baseline, line you up on the baseline, and we would do a half court shot. And and it was like one of those things where I think for you guys, for the junior high level, if we made the half court shot, you wouldn't have to run. And uh, if we missed, I don't remember if we made you guys do suicide or touch touch line. Um, well, with the little kids. I did it opposite to where like if I, I would shoot from half court and if I made it, they would have like one final lap to run at the end of practice. And uh, and if I missed it, they wouldn't have to run. And so they would always be rooting for me to miss the shot at the end of practice. But even if I missed it, I think I made it actually. Um, we probably had, I think the season was eight weeks long. So I probably had eight practices, um, maybe 10. Uh, and I think I made it like three out of the 10 times, but even <laughs> when I missed it, they still wanted to run. They're like, no, we still want to run. So I'd run the lap with them. It was fun. Those little munchkins. I just had so much joy from, uh, from coaching those little boogers. I've still got a picture of me with the team. Oh, there's they're, they're right there, right there. That's a blossom shiny right there, right there, right there. Yo, yo. Yo. Hey, it's not the shiny we're looking for, but we got a shiny. We got a shiny. I'm a little sad, but beggars can't be choosers. It's a boy blossom. I didn't even know they made them like that. I thought that I thought that Vileplume was all boys and then Blossom was all all female. Extra Blossom coming in hot. Our little Mountain Dew monkey doesn't want to spawn right now. Okay, we'll change to Fun Girl and paralyze this little baby. This shiny purple puff with pink flowers. It really is a good shiny though. Look at that. The body goes from a green to like a, a pretty purple and then the flowers are pink instead of red. That's a pretty good shiny. Augie says, I remember that. Did you guys ever make it? I, I did. I made it a few times because the the um so with the the five year olds or the kindergartners, their, their hoops are so small. They're like the eight foot hoops. So, um, so it was a little unfair. So yeah, I did make it a few times from half court. Um, morning practices in eighth grade were the best. That was a great time. Yeah. That was super fun, man. I rem I had so much fun coaching, coaching your age group at junior high. Um, as well as, as the, uh, as well as the munchkins. They were fun. Okay, I've got. Ooh, I can put it in a dream ball. This is such a good ball for this one. We're throwing it. Yes. Got him. Got him in the dream ball. That was a that was a good one. That was a good shiny to get. Okay, how much how much time we got left? 1346. I didn't even I gotta I keep saving right away, but I keep forgetting to pull up the the timer for for us. 
And I didn't do our usual guess for times. Gosh darn it. I'm slacking, chat. You guys got to keep me in line here. Okay, so we've got 13 minutes, 13 minutes left. If you think we're going to get another shiny in this sandwich, let me know. And if you think so, guess how much time will be left on the sandwich in chat. If you get the exact time, I will trade you the shiny. I will trade you the shiny. No questions asked. Right on stream, right here, right now. Augie says, I was talking with little Bo. I realized I was never on a basketball team without him. Well, yeah, you guys were, you guys were in the, uh, the same age group. And then you guys played together in boys and girls club. I'm pretty sure, um, at that time in boys and girls club ball, they would do like a draft, um, is the way the coaches would pick the players. And so I know my dad would always pick you up. My, I'm pretty sure my dad coached you. And then um, I think Dave Heath coached you, Bo, and Joe together one season that uh, my dad couldn't coach you guys in Boys and Girls Club. Yes, sir. Yeah, because then when you guys moved on from Boys and Girls Club ball to junior high ball, you guys were together. And then in high school, you guys were together too. You guys had some fun times together. You met, You missed little Bo earlier in chat too. Little Bo was here at the beginning of stream. He was hanging out, saying hi. He didn't, he didn't stay for long. He just popped in to say hi and then, oops. And that was pretty much it. No shinies, no shinies, no shinies. All right, this little Mountain Dew monkey needs to appear needs to appear materialize just exist Augie says, even our city Friday night and travel leagues, we have always played together. <laughs> oh, no crap. Are you are you playing with him uh, right now? With Brandon and Noah. Uh, Strider's, Strider Cartwright's on your team. Just thought that was strange. I've never not had him as a teammate. Hey, he's a good teammate to have. That's for sure. Oh, look at how cute that little one is. He's just so tiny. The party Pokemon, Grookey. Um, I don't need that opened or that or that. <clears throat> right here, right now. Augie's on that. So you're on the, the City League team together. Strider was telling me you guys got blistered the first night. Probably seen some better days. Nothing. No shinies. How much time have we got left? Nine minutes left. Going strong. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's see here. No, 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 
no shinies there. <laughs> that that game was not one I'd write home about the first the first game of the season. <laughs> oh no. Were you guys just lined up against a really good team or has uh has every has every team been pretty stacked or This little Mountain Dew monkey doesn't want to spawn. I love when they spawn sleeping under the tree. That's that's so cool. Game Freak might have missed the mark on adding uh, accessibility to the houses and whatnot with NPCs. But they, they did a good job of, like, the liveliness of the Pokemon themselves. Like, the, the whoopers just laying in the mud in the swamps. That is such a cool little setup. Let's see here. No Mountain Dew monkeys over here. Not on this side. Huh. I'm I'm starting to not feel as as well about this one. If you guys haven't already, please drop a like on the stream for me. It does help push the video out to the YouTube algorithm to other people looking for live streams or Pokemon content. No Mountain Dew monkey here. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he? Yo, yo, yo. That one's shiny right there. That one's shiny. Yo. What do we got left on the sandwich? Five minutes left on the sandwich still too? Yo. Shiny female Grookey. Look at our girl. Yo, two in one sandwich. That's, that is a great success. Great success. Let's see here. Swap over here. <clears throat> Using Endeavor, try and put him to sleep before he, before he starts up a ruckus and keeps himself from sleeping.
Ooh. Grookey almost took us out there. We better put him back to sleep. Put him in his place. Okay. Um... I think he belongs in a nest ball. He looks like he belongs in a nest ball. I'm pretty sure I've got one in the other one I've got is in a friend ball. <clears throat> so we're good there. Rookie's off to the boxes. Yo, that was a good, that was a good shiny. I'm glad I came over to the grass because he kind of stood out a little bit more in the grass. I think I probably would have missed it, to be honest. His face has like that, that off white color to it. And he was facing me and I didn't have like a comparison of another one standing close enough to see like his back. You know, because the back gets really yellow. Nothing there, nothing there. Those aren't shinies. Those are not shinies. I know earlier in chat, we were talking about uh, like the Star Wars films and Harry Potter and all that kind of stuff, uh, Lord of the Rings films, things like that. Um, I've been, I know I mentioned it earlier in chat, but I've been super hyped on the new X-Men 97 series, the animated series. They basically took the old 90s X-Men cartoon um, and they're, <clears throat> they're continuing on from the old uh, 92 X-Men cartoon. So they're leaving right off where, where, where the uh, previous series left off. And um, end of the original series, there was an assassination attempt on Charles Xavier. And he's like shipped off world with his like romantic partner um, to get healed or treatment or whatever. So when, when X-Men 97 opens up, he's there, like the X-Men are without Charles. And so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you got Cyclops kind of leading the way in the first episode, but um, Magneto makes an appearance. Um, it, it's kind of said that Xavier is killed off and, and the X-Men even get a death death certificate, which is kind of weird because he didn't actually die in the original series and they know it. Um, so it's hard to kind of figure out because I don't know if if they're actually like canonizing him as being gone. And oh, I think our sandwich ran out. Our sandwich is out. Okay. Let's see. I think I think I can do one more. One more to end the night. Let's see. Let's get our let's get our little bellossom up here. There. And then um, I'm going to do one more hunt to end the night, but it's not going to be Grookey. We are going to. That's sick for X-Men. Yeah, it's it's super cool. The X-Men series, X-Men 97 series on Disney Plus. It's good. Um, they they take the same style of animation, so it's kind of hard to explain like um, it's not animated the same way because like the style is the same, 
But if you take that old style animation and like update it to where the transitions are a lot smoother, the character movements a lot smoother. Um, that's, that's kind of what they did. I think I'm going to go here and just do one final sandwich in the charge stone cavern. Big McClank says, I'm back. Welcome back, buddy. We just, you just missed the shiny grookey. Um, and I'm considering going to the charge stone cavern here to hunt some chessmen. I think that's what I'll do to end stream is go to charge stone cavern and finish off the chessmen. That's what we're going to do. We'll at least get one. I'm going to head here, set up a grass type sandwich and see what we can do. Um, once again, if you guys are still in chat, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, please consider dropping a like if you already, if you have not already on the video, it does help push the uh, this video to the YouTube algorithm um, for others to see and enjoy my content as well. Um, funny thing about the charge stone cavern is <laughs> I was running through here during regular game and I like randomly ran into a Ella kid in here that was shiny um, just on accident, complete accident, ran into a shiny Ella kid. It was great. Probably one of the best shinies I've gotten just because it was so unexpected. Um, and what's crazy is like the, the Ella kid, it's so hard to tell the difference be or between its regular form and the shiny form. Um, they look pretty much the same. So um, it was already spawned and kind of walking around and I was trying to go around it and I accidentally ran into it and it shined and I was like, dude, that's cool. That's one of the best shinies I've got. Um, okay, I'm gonna find, let's find Chespin here, add it to the overlay. And this one is going to be the final sandwich of the night, y'all. So the final one, throwing chest pin in here in the overlay. Um, Big McClank, did you get through the Elite Four? Did you end up finishing it and becoming champion of the Kanto region? Um, okay, we're going to... Oh, we can't set up a picnic here. Can we set up one right here? Yes, we can. We just can't set it up right in the middle of the battle station. Um, so let's see here. Yo, what's going on? We're spazzing out. I need to save real quick before I make the sandwich. Save the game and then we'll go into the sandwich making. And go from there. Okay, game is saved. Set up the picnic. Into the sandwich making we go. Time to make a sandwich, baby. All right, into creative mode. We need two lettuce. Ooh, not red onion. One green, one red, one yellow. Two salt and any two Herba Mystica. Um, tonight we'll go with, we're going to go with two sweet Herba Mystica and level things out. Um, and to end the stream, let's do the Pika Pika pick for the boy Pikachu. Yo, what just happened to my game? Why is everything so blown out? Hold on. Hopefully when I get out of the sandwich making, it won't be all blown out like this. If it is, I can go back and reset. I don't know why. Definitely the game though that's doing it. It's not my monitor. Cause I can see in OBS, it's all blown out for, for you guys too. Uh oh, uh oh, don't fall off. Okay, drop that there. We're not putting a top button on. We're just gonna drop the Pika Pika in. Pika Pick in, call it good, all den. Yo, why are, why did my game just get all 
blown out like that. There we go. It's back. That was so odd. The weirdest thing when when this uh, when this game has little setbacks like that, it's rather annoying. Look at just the picnic setting areas completely blown out. Okay, we got our sparkling power, tidal power, encounter power, all for grass. We're good to go. Time to jump on our bike, our Maridon, and we're looking for our brown hooded little chest pin. Okay, we can go this way. Running down and then circling back around. Go in this direction and that. Why is that magneton out here? Get him out of here. Yo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 right next to me. Okay. It's the final sandwich of the evening. We've got almost a full sandwich left here. 2834 on the timer. I'm feeling like I'm going to get a chest pin before the end of the night. I'm thinking that I'm going to get it and I'm going to probably land it at around 10 minutes and five seconds left on the sandwich. 10 minutes and five seconds left. If you guys think that I'm going to get this, this shiny in this sandwich, you let me know. Drop a guess in chat with the time remaining on the sandwich that you think I'll get it at. And if you get the time exactly right, I will trade you the Pokemon. Where's our little brown hooded hedgehog? Looking for our brown hooded hedgehog. Yo, our shiny luck tonight's been pretty darn good. I think I've only had one sandwich tonight not turn up uh, a shiny Pokemon. Only one. Got our Snivy without, without any phasing. That was impressive. Convenient more so than anything. I thought for sure I was going to probably phase on a couple more ex execute or executor um, before getting that snivy. The date resetting took up a little bit of time for us to get our Chikorita outbreak, which, to be completely honest, that Chikorita outbreak wasn't that great. It was rather on the poo poo side. Didn't do much for us, but we did get a chicorita out of it after, on our second sandwich. So we had the outbreak method maxed out for shiny odds, plus the shiny charm, plus I still added a shiny encounter and tidal power sandwich 
on top of that. And then our second one, we did get our little Chikorita. Got the Chikorita, went to the beach, phased with a Blossom, but still got the Grookey before the end of the sandwich. That was two and one. Made up for the mist on the Chikorita. And now we're just chilling here in the Charged Stone Cavern looking for our little brown hooded hedgehog. Brown hooded grass hedgehog. A shining night. Hmm. Still over 20 minutes left. We're, we're, we're cooking with bacon grease here. We got time. Plenty of it. Yo, chat died off fast. It was like a steep cliff dive. You get too close to the uh, crystals there. You notice we start spawning in Electros instead of the Chespin. It's almost better that I just stay on the one side close to the, the battleground next to the checkpoint. Over this way, over yonder.
just about at 20 minutes left on the sandwich. This one's gonna be the last sandwich of the night. I know I know earlier I said possibly three more, but this one's gonna be the last one. I'm starting to hit a little bit of a wall here. I've got work to go to in the morning. So I can't be up too late. Still doing okay here. I think my guess on the sandwich was 10 minutes and what I say five seconds left on the sandwich. 10 minutes, five seconds left. Plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of time. I wonder why the shading looks a little funky on these guys. I hope my game's not like acting up. shiny what if I just I think I could just picnic reset the rest of this right here <clears throat> probably a quicker way to on these little bad boys in I think that I think this might work out a little bit quicker here Yo, what happened to the lighting like even on my character looks kind of funky something happen in options or I don't know what happened hmm. 
Might just be the game spazzing out a little bit. Nope, not that. Picnic. Reset. Method. Engage. shiny there now our lighting's back to being normal maybe it was just like the dusk or dawn cycle probably that was throwing it off Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen. That's it. Fun fact you get fifteen spawns regularly in your spawn radius in the game. So if there's a sixteenth one, it means you've got a shiny. It helps out a lot for like more subtle Pokemon. Oh, there, there's our shiny right there, right there. There he is. He's just chilling. Yo. Thirteen minutes left in the sandwich. This shiny's good. We're way clear. Well, that one's. Oh, look, he's a big boy too. All right, the shiny Chespin. He did paint split. All right, we'll swap over. He's probably gonna use wood hammer if he has it. If he's got the move, he will probably use wood hammer. Use mud shot. All right, we'll put him to sleep now. Put this bad boy asleep. And false swipe him. wake up okay good and I think we'll I think we'll put him in a dusk ball I'm pretty sure I put the last one in a dusk ball too though I better check that because I I kind of want to have one in a nest or safari ball I don't have another safari ball right now so It'll have to be a nest ball. Oops. Let's see, where's our other shiny chest bin? Oh, he is in a nest ball. I did a nest ball the first time. Okay, so we're good. 
we're good. We're golden. We're fine. Not boxes. We're going to picnic this one. <clears throat> That's not a good spot to host a picnic. How about here? Yo! Got our boy. Let's drop this guy up with his friends. All right. They're all lined up nice and neat up there. And we've got a little under 10 minutes left. Yo, I I got it quicker. I got it before, uh, much before I thought I would. Not much, I would say. A good amount before I thought I would, so. There's that, that's a positive. But why are these taking forever to spawn in? All right, hopefully we'll get one. If we can get one more before the end of the sandwich, that would be, that would be epic. That would be so nice. Yo, dude, oh my gosh, we did, we got another one. That's not even like two minutes later, there's another shiny chest pin right there. Yo, my chest pin hunt is done. <laughs> okay, let's, let's make sure I heal. Nice. Chespin is finished off. Dokum. Um, and then we need to switch to Fun Girl. We'll put him to sleep, false swipe him, and catch him. Make him our friend. <clears throat> Dang, that, that is a good ratio for tonight. For shiny hunting. We just got two in the last sandwich, two in this sandwich. Um, do I want to put him in a friend ball? I don't think so. I think I want another nest ball for Chessman. That one didn't stick and he woke up. Oh, don't you dare use wood hammer. Wood hammer would be real not good in this scenario. I think most of my catches tonight have been crit caps. Like that. Nice. Crit cap. Got him. How much time we got left? Six minutes? Yo, I might be able to get a... If I go to the Canyon Plaza here, 
I can fly over to where Turtwig spawn and get a couple resets in. I don't think that I'll get it, but you never know. Set that as my destination. just love Turtwig's design. It's so good. <clears throat> Such a good Pokemon. Still got five minutes left. Only took me a minute to get over here. get a few resets in here you never know Get the little shiny turtwig in here. Not there. Oh, dude, no, 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 there's a shiny right there. Oh my gosh. Yo, we got three in this sandwich. Three in this sandwich. Yo. It's a tiny turtwig. Yo, three in one sandwich. Three shiny Pokemon, one sandwich. We are cracked to end this. That's not even like two minutes later, I got another shiny Pokemon. That's insane. We just got that second chest pin. I looked at the time. There was six minutes on the clock. Got over here. Five minutes on the clock when we started picnic resetting. When that one showed up and after my save, it was just over three minutes. By the time we catch it, it's probably going to be done. There, there's probably going to be less than a minute left on the, on the sandwich. Dang. This was a good sandwich to end the night, too. We're going to catch him in a netball. And a crit cap. Man. We got the crit cap. We got the shinies. How much time we got left still over a minute what <laughs> if i get a fourth are you kidding me there's no way we get a fourth right
There's no way we get a fourth. 30 seconds left. No way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If we get one more reset in here. If I get, if, if a fourth one spawns right now, no, it's not happening, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Shiny sandwich is up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Got it. We're done. We are done. Yo, three in one sandwich though to end the night. What a great way to end the stream. What a great way to end the stream. Save that game. We're gonna head over to the face cam. Thank you everybody that uh, that came into the stream this evening. Um, if you're watching it back on the VOD, um, if, you, if you like to do that kind of thing and you end up watching my VOD, Thank you for doing that. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Drop a like down below. The shiny luck tonight was cracked, yo. I am excited and hopefully we take this luck into Sunday. But for right now, the shiny gods have been shining on us and uh, and we have no complaints. Yo, what a good haul tonight. I got a Turtwig, two chest bins, a Blossom, a Grookey, a Chikorita and a Snivy. That's seven shinies tonight. Seven. I think I made five sandwiches. Seven shinies. Dude, that ratio. That's a good ratio, y'all. Hey, I enjoyed hanging out, streaming tonight. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Um, I hope we can we'll see you again on oh wait, I won't I won't be streaming on Sunday. Sunday is Easter. I will not be streaming on Sunday. It's also my off weekend, anyways. Um, so the next time I'll be streaming is a week from today, Tuesday, next week after Easter. Hopefully we'll see you there and uh enjoy your evening. I enjoyed shiny hunting with you all. I hope to see you 